<laughs> yeah, let's just start fresh. We ready? Start All fresh. right, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, this is not. Uh, oh, you're kicking off like this. I really figured out when it would start. I did not have the same. Sorry, like, dude. Yeah, man. No, Here we are, man. Woo. Pro. Okay. Fellas, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for answering oh, the bat call. Course, thanks man. for putting this together, Mike. Jason, you're the Jason Ellis, everybody. Mike. Yeah, I want to talk to you. So that's, that's right. Mike got me here. I don't even know you, who you are. How dare you? How dare you, man? <laughs> I'm Jason Ellis, though. It's nice to meet you. I know. <laughs> should exchange phone numbers one day. It'd be awesome. Oh, you could text me, and I would fucking show up, asshole. I know, dude. Well, but I, I, I feel- You're busy. I get it. Well, you're busy. You pedal a lot. I see that. Dude, you're busy. Are you really that thick? What is with this? Am thing? I thick? I don't know. That's my the thing. thick boy. That's your thick, thing? Th yeah, my thick boy bike club, dude. slender these days, to be Well, honest. I'm always on a bike, dude. I'm getting on a road bike. It's helping, right? I you think look so. Lean. Yeah, I think so. When lo that's all I do. When lockdown's over, he's my project. I'm getting him that's, shredded. Yeah, I'm making sure. him fucking Bruce Lee. To be lean <laughs> in this pandemic, you're the opposite. You're the rare, right? Because everyone's sort of getting fatter. Everyone's put on weight. Do you do you ride a bike? Or? I mean, not right now. Well, you got a brace on you. But I am. I have I have big plans. That's why I invested in having a dead person in my leg. Because so I'm just for the listeners, if you're not uh, watching this, uh, he has a brace on his leg because MCL, ACL, PCL. Um, I have no PCL, I haven't had that for a long time, and I haven't had an MCL, and the ACL is really stretched out and some meniscus damage, so I got a new MCL across there to hold the whole thing in place, and then he tightened up my meniscus and cleaned up some stuff in there, and seems to think that I'm going to get a lot more stability than I've had since Mayhem snapped it off. But I, I, five Mayhem, years ago. Mayhem gave you a kick, right? That fucking Yeah, it was right after I had the trophy, and Forrest Griffin kicked me in one leg when he had the Sasquatch. <laughs> Like That's he was dressed smart. as a Sasquatch, yeah. but he kicked me being funny and I turned around and went, ah, ha, ha. And it was funny because it was on the thigh. And then Mayhem came to the other side Not and kicked me right on the kneecap on the side of it and it snapped my knee out. To did you know right away? No, it, po it popped out. Like so it, you, did the, oh, it did the, it did the, oh Jesus, like a, to this, to that side. And, and Mayhem's went, a sweet guy. He probably didn't, he didn't do that he, either. No, he, he's, he, he's he, a sweet he had his dude. hands on his... Every, ah, and the, the, whole crowd, the whole crowd saw it. Everyone was like, no, he did not just break that dude's leg after he won. Now, yeah. is it fair to say your knees are probably shot because of all your years of skateboarding? Yeah, yeah they were already, I've already torn my ACL twice in this one, once on that one. Like I said, no PCLs for the longest time. I feel like just, bitches forget how good of a skateboarder you were. I always say it when we brought you up on the show last week. I'm like, dude, you're talking about was top three in the world? At one point, you know, I, I ate yesterday on the boardwalk and a guy came up to me and said, no way, Jason Ellis, you know, the mask on and yeah. shit. And I was like, oh, wow, cool. He's like, man, it's, it's on an honor to me. And one time I met you at a trade show like 15 years ago. And I was like, cool, man. Well, nice to meet you. And then the guy, the security guy goes, who's that? He's like, you don't know who that is? It's Jason Ellis, man. He's a legendary skateboarder. And I just looked at my wife and went, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And you know, I don't hear right. That's like, I don't know, those are like every 10 years you get one of those. I'm like, yes, random dude. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> Legendary. Random guy. Face mask on. <laughs> yeah, I think they forget because you're such a personality now and on Sirius on all over and doing, you know, Ellis Mania and stuff like that. They forget that you're a high, the highest level skateboarder. So do I. I mean, when you're saying it, I'm like, what's I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, a little bit. That's all really, that's the other bit that finished the knee off trying to get back into it because I've been trying to, I made a decision that I wanted to ride again love that and then when i got on the ramp went to tony's and uh, i skated for a week tony every, hawk yeah every yeah. time i knee slid i could tell that it was danza, starting to come actually off. danza <laughs> yeah tony, no. tony yeah, danza has a ramp in san diego just don't throw out the name tony you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then i was at tony's <laughs> sorry i've been hanging tony out with skateboarders hawk. too much again yes How, yeah so anyway birdman so Bird yeah we got so loose that i knew that i had to do this to skate again and then how's the uh how serious going all that I think it's going good. I'm say, that's the thing. People don't know. Jason and I are buddies. And uh, yeah, you it's, wouldn't. it's rare we talk. No, Because you're busy. I'm busy. It's rare we talk. And you're just doing the goddamn thing on serious. I would talk to you. I have time for you. Yeah, I have time for you, dude. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> there's, like, there's only like three or four people actively doing it that I look at and I go, they're they're the creme de la creme. And he's, he's as good as anybody on the as planet. As far as radio? Bro broadcast. Yeah, he's been doing it for a hot second. Yeah, he's up and downs with it all though. It's it's not all like it's it's a lot harder than skateboarding, even though you don't get hurt. But I feel like just the up and downs of like you have a lot more freedom. You're you, you're your boss. I have people that you know it'd be really good, Jason. I've always had that since the show started, and I'm like, well, probably what I'm doing because it seems to be working. They're like, no, 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 
this would be. And I'm like, that's not, nope, that's not true. And then working with people that you're not, you're not butt buddies. They put it's you tough. together and you start to, I like my, myself and the people I work with couldn't be more opposite. Like, but what are we into? What do we do? Were those the people- complete opposite. How those people are brought on from Sirius? Like, you didn't get a pick Acc the team? Total accident. It's me being an accident because they were like, well, Tony Hawk's friend is kind of funny, like, make him a DJ. And they're like, wow, the show's getting big. We need to get him some help. And there was more like, uh, as far as the so other cool. guys knew, they were like, hey, can you help this guy do his show for a day? And then they stayed. And now, 15 years later, we've you know, most of us have been working together for over 10 years. Couldn't be more opposite, but couldn't be more perfect. In my yeah, opinion, it could know, be a good and bad thing. Like Kevin they're, they're, Kraft, Kevin Kraft's like a like a comic book nerd who's into like cinema and like he's like the Comic Con guy. He's yes. the, he's that dude. And Tully's like this Oxford educated, really like erudite intellectual. And it's such a amazing balance to Jason, who's like that's not him. You know, I had I had breakfast with Tully on he's great. this weekend. He's a, and my wife said the same thing. She's like, that's like that's the perfect guy to be sitting next to Jason because he's just so well informed on so many things because if, you, know? if you picked it it might be fucking you know it might be chaos. it'd be another friend it'd be dingo and it'd just be two <laughs> australians saying fuck oh mate fucking seconds. cunt mate what's yeah. in the news i don't fucking know what's news <laughs> dingo i yeah. don't mind it though he's fun well that's that's an angle like i feel like dude, i feel like when you have enough ability and you believe in yourself you could probably do it by yourself really so if i want to because that's the other thing people forget i did do it by myself that's how Correct. it got big enough for other people to be there. So I can do that. It just makes it easier. To me, it's like... Uh, I like relying on myself. Howard Stern has all these people, and I'm really at the bottom line, probably four-hour show, he probably does 30 minutes of him, his content. To me, like, I like the pandemic. I like that there's nobody around. I like I don't have an executive producer. What are we going to do today? I don't want to know. Like, I used to like it when it was like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'll smoke a joint and fucking and throw out shit. And it would work. That's what I love. So when it's when it's like, oh, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this guest, and we're going to do this. I I'm, tighten up. It, yeah. I tighten up. Yeah. That's I, yep. The pressure is so much more when it's all these things have to play out. I like it better when it's, but that's Tully and Kevin like structure. They And, and you got to work. You can't, that's the thing I've learned in the years of doing the Jason Ellis show is you don't barge on everybody all the time. Like, I think I came in with a little what bit of mean? a- I just kind of McGregor the shit out of this radio show Meaning? when I first started. I'm like, I'm the Took best. Took it over. I'm the best there ever is. So whatever your opinion is, if if you're not spot on with it, I'll probably nail you to the wall for it. Be like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'm going to pick it apart. You don't even know anything. If, why I why know. would I even listen to you if you're going to say such stupid shit? But I, I think you need that arrogance or cockiness to make it at first. I was the exact yeah. same way. Okay. The exact same. I always said it's like- You've made adjustments. I, I, oh, dude. Dear God, have I ever. I mean, I even struggle now with it with- the team here in, in my text, me and Chin have to have a conversation the other day because through tap, my t I don't, for whatever, and it's a problem. You're going to say the same. I'm it's brutal. a problem across the board. When I text, it's brutal. Yeah, me and too. Chin's like, dude, like I te send this text. He's like, dude, what the fuck? This isn't you, man. He's like, call me because the texts are brutal and it suffers in my personal life, wow. business life. Yeah. I'm like, my, I read an email that I sent to a, a big advertiser. Like, yeah. dude, what the fuck? Who are you talking to? I'm like, you. Wow. It's, but it's through email. Because I've done the same. And then when they call, they're like, you're a different person. I'm like, it's just the way I text. It's aggressive. Well, and it's hard with those two because they're so hard to get along with. I mean, they're really <laughs> yeah, they're, abrasive. They're no, already pissed was like, in your dude, face. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Dude, yeah. what is this? <laughs> yeah. And it, uh, But you're not, I have a problem with my brother, my girl, it, my family member. Every My texts are aggressive. It, I and always, I look at them like, all right. Well. In the beginning, that, that, that um, me against the world kind of, uh, take no prisoners attitude it, it, it's really effective but i always say it's like um it's like jelly beans compared to like a sweet potato the jelly beans give you amazing energy and they get you fired for up time for 20 minutes yeah. and then you, you realize like that it's not sustainable i don't know if but that a sweet ever goes potato away, you know you're like learning how to i don't know if it ever goes away. i always have it. it's just controlling the monster like uh, the chip on my shoulders i couldn't tell you how tall it is every day this morning you know i I woke up, you know, I have a nice house and great family. I drove my dream car here, but that chip's still like fucking this. It's just that's going to make it more it. difficult for sure. Get a couple of the losses under your belt. Get a couple of people that are a little bit like on your level to like spank you back where you belong. Oh, I get it all the That'll time. That'll help bro. you. Yeah, my, my friends, you. my friends are all smarter and more successful. Are they? I don't have okay. any friend who's not more successful than me. Maybe that's my. Problem. That hurts because <laughs> you're essentially saying we're not friends. <laughs> 
I, really? I That's think why you guys are better off than I am. You're better I'm, off than I am. I've always known you're I'm more... stupid, so you're not hurting my feelings. <laughs> I have no education. I'm on fire for a dumb guy. Like I'm, you're crushing I don't have it. my dream car, but I have a dream car for a dumb guy. You're not You're not. <laughs> you're not dumb. And Drew and I have talked you about that. You know what I mean? You're not, you know what, okay, you're not I'm educated. educated. You're not educated. But your brain your brain functions I did, very I, well. I admit that it's different. Yeah. I just it's like different. bashing myself. Me Trust too. me, when I say dumb guy, I know the fucking smartest guy in the room, or I'm just trying to fucking be flattering to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Go I, ahead, smart but, guys. but I feel like you are sim you and I are similar with that athlete kind of grind yeah. and chip on the Cuz you know it works. You yeah. got good at sports, more than one sport, just like me. Yeah. From knowing, from going, nah. Like when it's a bad day, you're like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, oh, the same with the knee thing. You know, not many people come back from it. Like not many bitches come back from it. You'll be fine. Do you know who the fuck I am? Like, I trained like some dude that's gonna be in the UFC in six months. Which you should. All my guys that are, you know, I have three different people that are gonna be working <clears throat> every day to make this stronger than it's ever been. When I was. A pro skateboarder, when you were saying when I was an elite guy, when if I'd have done this, I'd be just bonging on, eating painkillers the yeah, whole time. Yeah, never bothers me. No rehab. There's no way I would have gone yeah. to rehab. I hated rehab. I'd be like, this bitch making me wiggle my knee? No way. Yeah. I'll, do, I'll just fucking watch TV and do some squats or Let something. Let it recover. Yeah. yeah, like, and it worked when you it were works. younger, but not now. But that's, that's like, a that grind, it. you know, but uh, a lot of that comes from finding a passion. You don't get to an elite level of sports in any sport unless you're super passionate about it. And like, being able to pick and choose what really means a lot to you that there's a value in that. And it's hard, man. It's hard, especially when you're trying. Um, you know, like, you know, Lee Sayat, you know, Joey, yeah, lovely. Lee's the best. He's not he, going to New Jersey with Joe, right? I don't think he is. Joey. But he is Lee that little fat guy that eats crazy amounts of weed. Is yes. he like 400 pounds now? He got bigger. He's five one too, which is which is especially impressive. Yeah. Someone's telling me he's like really heavy now. But uh, Lee, Wait, how can you say really heavy now? Like what was he before? <laughs> I'm talking like my 600 pound live TLC. Oh shit! Yeah, someone told me he was like, like, dude, I think he's like 300, 400 pounds. I went, no, dude. The video that he's I the nicest was, guy in the world. He's the I, nicest. I met him before because he hangs out with Tully, but I saw him on Diaz show when he ate all those. Stuff when his thing. brain broke, it was yeah. the funniest his brain weed broke. thing yeah. I've ever seen. As a guy that smokes a lot of weed, I don't think I've ever laughed more at someone that high. But yeah, this one. But he might. But he also looked he like he asleep. could. He also looked like he could die right I there. Know. Like he looked like <laughs> it's, it's not <laughs> healthy. <I'm> serious. <laughs> Have you guys seen him? See? Yeah, he's still good though. He's so it looks he's like he's good. That's o no, he's not. That's ODing right yeah. there. Yeah. And then if you're telling me he's now 600 pound and he still might eat one of those stuff. I'm not sure if he's 600. Somebody told me, go, have you seen Lee lately? He's got really heavy. What? Okay, 400. Yeah. Bro, if he's- That's he's, death, honestly, dude. Like, like eat a couple of starfish three. and make your, like, get your heart real. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> dude, look at no. he's- That looks like the end of Scarface. <laughs> I've done like ketamine just sitting there looking at the I mouth. to do that where I'm like, please. Yeah. I'm almost about to say mama. He's hilarious. But he, he smacked me into, like, reality um, because- I was going through this thing where it's like, I got to keep trying new things, new things, new things. And it's like, I, and everyone are, new things in regard to what professionally. All right. And uh, I was like, nothing will make me learn how to like tighten up my, my wit than stand up because the stakes are so high. Yeah, so I started doing stand up, you know? And, uh, I, I was not great, but I was, I wasn't bad. You know, I think I had potential to be something, but I would go out and do a set like, three times a week when I was really balling it up. And one night I was doing, a, a, when Lee was performing, I was doing a, a set there. And um, I showed up and I was like, man, yeah, you know, I'm really trying, you know, this is like the the third, second time this week that I got. And Lee's like, oh man, that's awesome. You know, you're, you're doing really well. Yeah, I just came from an open mic in Santa Monica. After this, I'm going to hit up uh, a place in the Valley that I know has an open mic. And he's like, yeah, I try to get up like three or four times a night. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. oh that's yeah. that's what it means to do it and i and then and it, it hit me it hit me like a ton of bricks i was like oh no stick with what you're really passionate about and go for it and don't like don't try to load yourself you can't down. really half-ass yeah. stand up yeah yeah not saying you're half-ass no no, no i wasn't not, like that's the but i was of, i was i was half-assing it in in comparison to <clears throat> the stuff that means something to me where yeah. where especially when i was young and i had no i had nothing nothing you know and people gifted me this insane opportunity to be on the radio mm -hmm. i didn't fucking sleep and when i was not on the air i was actively thinking about more shit i could do to get on the air more like and and like uh, that's not how i was with stand-up that's not how i am with personal training or yeah, what you know what i'm saying make it in stand -up if you're not like it's that. hard when you're older and you've got all these other things in your life like just to just be 
you know, to do four different sets in one night. Yeah. But and it, then get up and, you know, with your child mm-hmm. at six in the morning. That's ch- it's totally to true. Stand up and kids. I'm like, what? Because you guys are all up late. But if it lit my fire, if it lit my fire, I could do it. And my wife yeah, would yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. You point. know what I'm saying? Like, there's times with, with like, my animated mm. show um, where, yeah, I just, I just will work for 12 hours. Not even needing to. It's just, like, meet and having these meetings over, like, the, the scheme of yellow <laughs> that we're going to be able to put into. With the, the and I'm sitting there with the animators and time just flies by. It's because, like, I, I, can't, I can't fathom not investing myself to that level. Um, and I still go home to my kid. I still go home to my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you needed me to do something for the Jason Ellis show, if we had a, like a giant bit to, pro- or like the wrestling thing, yeah. like whatever, I know. whatever it happened, whatever needed to happen was going to happen, you know? Right. Like, and that's because it, it lit that thing inside of me. And I think we all lie to ourselves with trying to do things that we're not really that passionate about. You if you're not saying? passionate about it, you can get run over. Man, I wish I was more passionate about comedy than MMA because- you I don't know about man. my true comedy talents, but I believe that I could be okay, handle the job if I was, like you said, yeah. as passionate as I am about mixed martial arts at 48 with no ligaments in my <laughs> legs. Like, I'm going to have another fight. I want to pitch Scott Coker. I'm like, you should really shut the fuck up and play Scrabble. But Have you talked to Scrabble? How dare you? <laughs> have you talked to Scott? I'm, I've got him booked for the show because my pitch is, because uh, Luis J. Gomez wants to fight me, but in an MMA fight. And I'm like, I, I heard, are you sure, dude? I heard, I, I, I don't know. I met him once. He was very nice to me. I don't know him at all. I saw his fight against Jeremiah Watkins, who I thought Jeremiah won that. And I'm like, you want to fight wait, Jason? Wait, no, he fought. Did you see him fight at Ellis Mania? He had an MMA fight no. against another podcaster, a Dutch or something. Like he had how, a, he had how, a how, nickname. How did he go? Did he, he beat him. He beat him. He, like you know, he uh, he took him down and el- you know elbows and stuff. He has submissions and he has a little bit of boxing. I Does don't he know have a much... jiu-jitsu background? No, no, he's a comedian. He's a nothing background. He has no. He's just started training maybe a couple of years ago. He but started he doing. The, a... Did he got the bug? You know how I do. Alice Ryan things. O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill. That was that dude. Yeah. yeah. You get guys that have never done it before, and they've got because I that's think that's what's fun about it. He got bit by the bug, and he's a and I respect him because he's kind of I respect people that are in my level that get the bug. And they step up, step up, and they're like, I want to scrap against someone who can fight. Because um, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to fight. You were like, don't let Shane punch you. But I wanted to see I what it was like to you. feel power. Um, he he took it. it was, anyway, let's not get into that. Let's not get into that. He, <laughs> This guy wants to fight me. And I'm like, I don't think you would do that well. And he's like, you're getting knee surgery. You'll be out for six months. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I don't know. How, I don't, okay. But like, I'm not fighting you right now. But when it's better. I'll still have all this stuff, but he's already started training and he's got videos and he's got a, you know, ba- a giant uh, mm. fan base of people that love that kind of stuff. And I'm like, if you really want a shot, I've asked, well, like, like if I ask for uh, Uriah Faber to fight me at Ellis Mania, like I, that was, he was doing me a favor. Yes. You're and doing like, him a favor. I can't believe he did that. Because so you I'm, have a big fit. Yeah, I mean. My fan base is as big as his. And I'm like, if we both bigger, show up, yeah. but his thing is, an MMA fight, Ellis Mania is comedy boxing. So if I have a, a sanction, it has to be sanctioned. If it's an MMA fight, that means I can't have the other fights where I have blindfolded people with dog collars on their well, necks. that's not running. fun. So what are you so, going to do? Well, my thing is, I told Lu- Lewis, I, I mean, I said, let's try and pitch it at a, let's get a real fight. If you really want to fight me, I mean, let's ask Scott Coker mm-hmm. and see if Bellator will do it. Mm-hmm. I know, but you got to shoot for the stars. And, and I'm like, on- worst case scenario, mm-hmm. uh, King of the Cage, wanted me to sign a three fight deal and i was like dude I'm- have you have you talked to lfa no because that they they also uh <laughs> broadcast on ufc fight pass and L- lfa they put the most talent out of anyone besides probably king of the, or uh cage fury or whatever is in london but lfa here in los angeles they're based out of here all the big names come out of there and it's on ufc fight that's pass. what uh uh mike uh mike um ortega came Beltran? out of there I no mean- our friend uh the Raider fan, white guy who is the most. Mexican oh, Jasper, guy. Mike Jasper. That's where he fought out. LFA is a bit. I mean, legit yeah. talent, man. I, look, I was. I just wanted. I'm. I'm got an accomp. He, he picked the fight. I accept. Let's do this. So now I've got a thing in my head like get your leg better, get your ground shit back. Because now I feel like I can do jujitsu again. Because I I couldn't do it anymore because I had such little amount of ligament in my leg. That's the problem. I couldn't walk the next day. Or and then it got to the point where uh, Saxon's Muay Thai. I couldn't take too many kicks because I can't. If you if I if you kick me and I don't see it coming, 
I had to at least tense it up. Even if I couldn't check it, I had to at least tense when it hit. Otherwise, it would fucking break off. Uh, If I'm Luis Gomez, I'm working on just knee locks. That's that's great. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I know. Luis, knee locks, dude. (laughs) Tomorrow, Paul Harris. Yeah, and he's in New York. Go to fucking Hanzo's. Donahue's there. Learn knee yeah, locks. Yeah, dude. touch my fucking I'll connect foot. You. Touch my foot, Lewis, and see what the fuck happens. <laughs> tell, Lewis, to, I don't know you very well, but dude, he he is retired and so washed up and living in a false reality, as I already stated. Not that smart. <laughs> this guy's advice, don't just because all well, I know who's going to win in the UFC. He might be right about that, but you are. You know what you need to do is fucking kill yourself and then be reborn as someone who can fight because i am born to beat you Jay-Z, that's what it is you're conflicting this thing and i think he's gonna do that and win the fight yeah i'm a betting man i'd put all my money on you yes yeah. i know you i don't know him I, i've already that's the other thing i did a fight where i lost badly as badly as i ever tried king of the cage dude i got stung like four times and was like whoa i didn't even see him anymore and i had my hands out and i'm like wow this is the end fell on the ground now he's mounting me and i'm like what now i see him again i'm like okay and i moved and rolled and wiggled and fucking got back up and had no like at the end of the first round i was face out here couldn't breathe i i saw it in all coaches eyes it's over and uh and i was like let's go like let's go and then i fucking like it i felt like a tractor slower but just kept going if he got stung i just did i started wrestling i started throwing leg kicks And did you beat him yeah i submitted him with one second in the third round by key lock goddamn brother that's a big deal but it was like a you know dude you've had real fights like where where usually it's like you i've had people box me and they're better i've fought mma guys and i'm like you're gonna find a way you're gonna find a way this was a yeah fighters find a way that's why I didn't really need to do another one because I, I wasn't, I don't need a pat on the back. I wanted to prove to myself. You checked that box. You went into yeah. deep water. I was like, how much tougher do you need to be, Jason? That's enough. That's, That's enough. totally enough. I agree. That fight was nuts. It was like two hours away. You know, like you did, so a lot of people everybody. didn't recognize that it was so far away. It was deep in the like Inland Empire. And I, my wife's like, oh, I'll, I'll definitely go with you. You know, we get a babysitter and everything. And we're all excited. We drive Dude, way Rob, the fuck out. There. Rob Corddry came in a three piece suit. Oh, wow. So nobody knew what I was bringing them to. <laughs> Not even me. We're standing next to Rob Cordry. My wife and I were standing, getting ready. We're excited. And Jason comes out, fight starts, and he's fighting this gnarly like Cholo, the, uh, Gabe Revis, right? Yeah. What was it? Raider tattoo Dominic on Cruz his head. He used to, oh, hell yeah. Just he used to fight, yeah. short little cho- Cholo, just like stocky. And he comes out and cracks yeah. Jason in like the first 20 seconds of the fight. And we're, Rob Cordry looks over at me and goes, what are we doing? Like, what, <laughs> what is, what are we, Jason was, Jason was on Queer Street. He was done, and I was like, oh no. And he sure cracked you right man, away. Fucking yeah. warrior came back and, and uh, yeah. submitted him. I raced won. cars the same day. So I, uh, I, I made, I fucked up by trying to do too many things. At least you got, yeah, that's right. I, you, I thought it'd be cool. And if you I got was. a great ref too. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, you know what? Because he, he actually stopped the fight. That dude didn't tap. He was just screaming and his arm was popping and he called it. Yeah, the guy was tough as shit. But I could tell my coach was like, hey, it's a fight. And I'm like, why is he telling me that right now? Because you can tell I wasn't. I was sort of like, hey, what are you guys doing? It was like, okay, touch gloves. And I'm like, yeah, touch gloves. Jab, move back. Like, well, just not not in it. Not till till he fucking smashed me where I was like, oh, man, here we are. This is it, huh? And then then the whole, this is the thing that's so great about it. Like the the burning in your chest where you're like, (gasps) and I'm like, and I'm like, what the hell was that punch? Like. Are you st- wait rubber arms burning and i'm like can he tell in my face I that know. i'm done and, I'm, and this whole thing that's happening between us it's so awesome it's a weird dance i just i know I've, as long as i don't fight anybody like you i got a couple more in me so Fuck, that's dude. my new you know how in shape you were dude speed of sport that's what's his name nick uh, Kurson, yeah, yeah nick Kurson. i'm getting back with him too you're you're full boy and when is ellis mania no oh. To be I mean, determined, you got to be joking me. It you got supposed to be Ellis Mania 20, 2020, but now I believe not, it'll be right? Ellis Mania twenty in twenty one because March. So, Who knows, know. dude? Who knows? Ooh, that was it. That was the one where I was like, "Uh oh, right. this is bad news." Watch. Let me see. Ooh, Ooh, that right hook got dude, you, dude, and that's a shot on the yeah, button. right. I didn't. I didn't see it. I really didn't see it. That's the worst ones. Yeah, and then there were, there were several more, but right here, I just hear a humming sound. Your ears I can't were ringing see. and humming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't it's see like him. can't hear anything. But I knew what you know my, ma- my mindset was when I couldn't see was like, I'm going to fucking kill this dude. Interesting. Like, 
was it wasn't like eh, let's stop now. Like I was like, no, where, no, any anything but lose, yeah, anything. Like at all costs, Jason, find something to hold on to him. Like I just remember going, no, I will not, I will not. Yeah, and then like, oh, I see. Oh, there's a chance. I'm back. Oh, and then it's weird. It comes back. You're being like half grown, like. Oh, there we are. I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, back yeah. up. You're like, all right, there we to go. To the point where the very end, Jasper was making fun of me because of my first fight. <laughs> there was video of, uh, I was in, I was like uh, in his- in, uh, <clears throat> His garden? In his guard. And I hear, and, and Jason's going, posture, posture. And I'm not posturing. So he goes, posture, mate. Bosh your mate. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I, I guess I bossed Then you did it. <laughs> so I told Jasper that story when we were watching that video. And this is fucking seven years later. And in the third round with like a minute left. And I'm in his guard. I'm trying to get up there for that key lock again. And I hear, bosh your mate. Bosh your <laughs> mate. And I'm so tired. I still had that. Like, I was like, he <laughs> did not. You did. And I like looked at him through the cage. Like, you're fucking joking right <laughs> now. <laughs> you're busting my balls with my I did it deformed my head permanently. Like this part got bigger and this part like came over here a bit. I'm like a little so, bit more wobbly. So how are you and uh, Lewis going to be able to do, uh, it has to be sanctioned. So I just say what you said, go to those, pitch it to the real people and have a real fight at the end. That way I don't have to organize an event. I'm sure LFA would be, yeah, that'd be a nightmare. I'm sure LFA would it. be down. It's terrible. You got a guy at LFA? Yes. Well, let's pretend we're friends still while we're on the air. Give me that number <laughs> on your friends, fake phone, That's why okay? you're here, man. I just didn't want to bother you. No, I um, would be pumped for that because that's- uh, Yeah, little, LFA's a big deal. I, oh, I'm aware LFA's of it. I just figured- I, you know, I mean, a small, but I'm like, but that's all I know Scott Coco. I'll trap him on the radio. And then I'm like, he'll say no. Here's the King problem. of the Cage loved me. They King, were like, King, I have no back? issue with King of Cage. Again, King of Cage had some great fighters. Bellator is a little different because now Bell, when you're dealing with oh, Bellator, you're dealing with CBS Showtime. Because now they're with them. You're dealing oh, with Paramount. Like UFC and ESPN. And you're dealing with much higher big weights. Like, wait, what? You want to do what? Right. Hey, kids. One thing that's important is what you sleep on. And I'm here to tell you about Helix Sleep Mattresses. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete. Matches your body type and sleep preference with the perfect mattress just for your big ass. Whether you're a side sleeper, hot sleeper, Firm bed, soft bed, whatever you want. Helix has the bed for you. Helix Sleep was awarded the number one best overall mattress in 2019 and 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. What's up? In my house, people always trying to stay with me all the goddamn time. I'm like, why? I'm not that friendly. The food's pretty good. My girl can cook. Maybe it's my kids. Nope. It's my mattresses. Every guest room I have has the Helix mattress, and people are trying to take over my crib. Just go to helixsleep.com slash fighter, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you with a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will, so no worries there. Helix is offering you guys up to $200 off all mattresses, and free pillows for you guys at helixsleep.com slash fighter. That's helixsleep.com slash fighter for up to $200 off. Helixsleep.com slash fighter. Oh, snaps. UFC 252. Steep A. DC is this weekend. You got NBA. You got MLB. You got NHL playoffs. You got it all. And you want to make money? Well, guess what? DraftKings has brought their expertise to legal sports betting. It's legitimate sports book based right here in the U.S. of A. So you can rest assured that your funds are totally secure. DraftKings, America's top rated sports book app, is safe, secure, reliable. You can deposit, withdraw your money whenever you want. New users, listen to this. You can bet $1, you win $252. Place a bet for $1 on either the main event for UFC 252 either fighter for the main event, and you can uh, have the opportunity to win $252. You can't beat those odds. New users get a sign-up bonus at $1,000, up to $1,000. Head to the app right now. Check out all they have to offer, including player props, live betting, so much more. My lock of the week that I said on below the belt is JDS over Rosenstruck. He's a dog. Make money. Bet on the heavyweights. It's a risk, but it's fun. JDS over. As a dog, if Sportsbooks is not available in your state, don't forget about DraftKings Fantasy app. They're offering a shot over $1 million in total prizes every day this week. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use the code FIGHTER when you sign up. 
For a limited time, all new users can get a sign-up bonus up to $1,000. That's right. DraftKings Sportsbook has a sign-up bonus up to 1000 bucks. Just enter the code FIGHTER when you sign up only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, New Jersey, Indianapolis, or Pennsylvania only. Bonus comprised of first deposit bonus to first bet match up to $500 each. Deposit bonus requires 25 times playthrough. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Cool. Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in Indiana, 1-800-9-WITH-IT. Again, that's DraftKings Sportsbook apps, promo code FIGHTER. They don't seem like they're that hot on gimmick fights either. I noticed I did uh, uh, Ashley Evan Smith podcast, uh-huh. and she said... You did funny. Ashley Evan Smith podcast? Yeah, the okay. sex and violence thing. Just okay. like the other day, she hit me up, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I never yeah, she's even, great. Yeah, but she, she said one thing when I mentioned that was... I don't know how like some of the real fighters would feel, but you know, I mean, I'm stoked for you. And I was like, "Wait, you're saying you're saying if I get on the card, I'm taking somebody's spot?" Because to me, in from skateboarding, if you skateboarded and you didn't make any money, but you still came to the ramp with me for as long as I did, you were better to me. You were more. I had more respect for you than me because you people gave me money and fucking free everything yes. to keep skateboarding. So it's it was easy pretty easy to keep yeah. going. Yeah. This guy's breaking ankles and getting switched off and just showing up and going, oh, man, I bought my skateboard at the par- at the shop. And, and still I love doing the same shit you're doing. To me, like, I'm at the gym all the time. People crack me. I get hurt. I'm, I train. I'll do sprints. I hate sprints. I was doing sprints with the Saxon dudes and vomiting because they're all, like, 140 pounds. Sure. <laughs> but I'll do it because I love, I love the game. I'm not doing it for anybody but me. So if I'm that passionate about mixed martial arts, and and she was saying that you were going to take someone's spot on, well, she just it's she sounded like it was like I, I might bum out some real fighters by being on a. a Did you respond such back? a big? Did card. you respond back to that? That I sort of said I I felt like I was bringing more people to the event, and that if you're really that mad at it, like after I beat Lewis, if you want to beat me up on TV to get like more people, I'll show up. Like I'll take a fight against the dude sure. if that's what you need yeah, from, that's from me, but I just figured, am I really hurting mixed martial arts? No, by I don't think so. Punching Louis J. Gomez in the face on television? Mm. No. And I, you definitely will get you both more have attention. Big fan bases, right. So. It would bring more people to yeah. a yeah. lot more people. You know, I mean, it's similar, not similar. That's not fair, but like what Jake Paul is doing with, which I love. I mean, I, I don't know about, I don't like Jake Paul as a person. I haven't met him, but he seems kind of mean. And like you said, where you had like a bit of an ego for a while and you weren't like, adapting to just being civil with the rest of the mm-hmm. world. I feel like he's still on that. He's very young though, dude. So I give him a pass. But Logan seems like- Do you know Logan at all? Yes, I met Great him. Dude. He seems really nice, right? Great dude. But he's also, he's older. He's been through some shit. Took a loss. Took a loss. So he has more experience. Like it, it humbled him. But he's a good dude. But I even agree. like, he's a great guy. So his brother's younger, but when people want to shit on that stuff, I'm like, no, don't shit on it. If people are going to pay for it and there's an avenue, let them have their fun, dude. dude Why he, do you care? He's live main main event on DAZN, and there's like a bunch of like real guys that none of you have ever heard about dude, on Billy, the undercard. Dude, Billy Joe now, Saunders was the co-main event. And now you're going to You should see- fight Canelo next. He's a monster. Yes, I yes, I thought you was like, geez, you're talking to me. I'm like, yeah, yes, he's It's should. nuts. But I'm saying he's brilliant. No, he was saying you're going to fight Billy Joe Saunders next. That's, that's yeah. good. I, I think it's a good idea. Good I think it's a good fight, yeah. I'm going to turn my steroids up as soon as I get home. <laughs> Yeah, but but it's like if those guys are bringing this younger audience and there's a uh, and people are pay- now if no one's paying attention, I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. Right. But if it's bringing new eyeballs and it's bringing money and everybody's getting paid, <clears throat> I don't care. Now I don't like the Roy Jones, Mike Tyson thing. I'm not into it. The Jake Paul, I'm not really into it. But if you guys want to pay for it and there's that, I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm not gonna shit on it. Do your. I don't give a fuck. Can I ask why you don't like the Tyson fight? Are you worried about them more? A, a little bit of both. I'm just not into it. I'm 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 into DC and Steep A3. I'm yeah. into real shit. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not real, but you know they have bigger gloves yeah, on. They're into you they're know. Old, dude, they're older. It's not the same anymore. Well, my thing. Would you want to see you know uh, you know Magic Johnson, Larry Bird play if their you know their balls are down to their ankles? And it's I, like, I said uh, yes. That, yeah. Last week he asked me the same question. Say, I was like, yes. But I'm not. I hating, would really want to see that. <laughs> I'm not hating on it, but only their balls. Really, I don't care. About <laughs> yeah, that game. Yeah. As long as their balls come out. <laughs> Larry's Larry's are sagging. Right <laughs> Man, that, you know, Larry's are. I, I'm not. I'm not. They're hating probably on better it. looking than his face. But there's just there's so much good fighting going on and i'm just like all right if you want to do that do that but i'm okay. gonna be over here i get that i'm more about them 
like what do they want and you know i feel like you're different because you've found all these other things to because i feel like you had a pain from the football thing not being like the greatest football player at all time and then you got that fire that made you get in mma and was like i'll fucking fight everybody i don't give a yeah. shit how many years i've got behind me correct and excel to the point where you're in the fucking ufc yeah because you had a fire like my fire for radio from the skateboard thing could have done better in skateboarding there was a few things that i felt that i left that i, I should have done mm -hmm. and that fire built in the radio so i have that you used you applied it to all these other things so you don't have that uh because you know the guys at the gym dude that are like oh i, I could probably I could probably take that guy. I mean, if I get a camp, like like a Keith <laughs> Jardim. Yeah. Keith Jardim could potentially fight anybody at any given moment. He, 100%. He, like, but he doesn't, he shouldn't. He knows that. Yeah. But it's in there. Like you hear old guys, war guys, real fighter guys that are like, Muhammad Ali before, when he was before he like could barely talk, he used to announce shit after he retired. And almost every time he announced, he'd be like, oh, do, 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 do right now, I'll do it right. We'll get back in. I got a camp. We'll go back. And he's trying to organize fights for like the last 20 years of his talking life. He was threatening other heavyweight boxers in the ring to challenge him because he would never stop. It's See, I'm not that I'm not that guy, but are you are you you're smarter? You've got Joe Rogan's brain hitting advice. Like I remember Joe when I had my first fight, he's like, dude, one knee. I'm like, what? You shoot one knee it's over my ex-wife standing next to me and i'm like dude <laughs> ex knee on the, the knee yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 on the brain damage you know? <laughs> <laughs> but like because he's smart yeah. he's a thinking man and he's he's and seen a lot of stuff right yeah. i don't have i feel like i don't have but a, do but do you choice. watch skateboarding and go i could fucking do that dude uh, I watch. I totally have watched it lately, and go. There's a couple of things that I can still do if I get my shit back. Where they're high level, sh they're high level stuff. Can I match the top ten dudes? No fucking way. It is so beyond over. Even if I put like retired That's from weird. radio yeah. and was there every day, there's new things that they do that I could never do. But the big, big five forties and shit. Those are. I don't know what it is in MMA to compare it, but if you can do like a, a eight foot five forty, you're kind of forever in the top 10 because mm. there's only about and you 10 can do that I've, i used to be able to do every grab to eight Jesus foot high towel grab ones see like i don't i think my thing is different is like i'll watch like steep and dc fight and it doesn't i guess just so i'm so far over here now with other things it doesn't even come into my brain like ah you do pretty well against them or i used to be a train partner with steep a i've trained with dc it doesn't even enter my brain you're free yeah I to me so. that's free because yeah, to me to that's why I'm back in skateboarding until I hurt my knee because I couldn't go back because I couldn't deal with, I used to go to Venice every now and then and there'd be a guy, I think I've told Mike, where there's a guy, I don't know who he is. He doesn't know who I I am and he's destroying me. Yeah. And I, I haven't skated for a while, but I'm like, who the fuck is this asshole? And I'm like, really? Jason, are you really having a bad time now? Because this random kid is shredding you up at the bowl? Yeah. Like, Dude, get over it. This is this is ten years after I retired. Yeah. So it's taken a long <clears throat> time to like really get a grip on my ego and and understand what it's good for and what it's bad for and 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 like allocating when it's when it's time to bring that in and when time to shut it up. It's a good thing. I think it's a good thing if you can figure out how to control that beast. It's a good thing. Like, do you I don't know how it works with Sirius. I have no fucking clue about Sirius. Do you take that up like your ego into like numbers game and serious because they don't tell you guys uh he's no. way different than he used to be no i don't i don't care anymore when it comes to that i just care about did it. you used to yeah me too, <laughs> me too. yeah big time me too yeah, now I'll i couldn't tell you the last time i've looked at how many downloads we have or the i just put out the content if you guys dig it cool as long yeah. if if it, over here like yeah we dig it man then i just keep going well, there's what's healthy for you. Like you thought about it at the start because you needed to get momentum to to go. Like attack, attack. To. If you want to be good at shit, you don't do it kicking back. No, you go 110. percent What are you thinking about? Fucking that thing that's going to make me rule. Mouth. I can Foaming barely hear mouth. what anyone else is saying because I'm just like, get the radio, get the get the say the best thing. What's the th what am I going to do next? What is what's what do you want? But tomorrow, what kind of story are you going to come up with? Like it won't fucking turn off. I was foaming at the right. Mouth. And then when you get there, you, you can't show up every day smash in the roof when you're already sitting on top of the hill like it's just like yeah. now it's i'm here not, it's not sustainable i just want to help you know? people now i want to people that listen to the show and like my show yeah what can i do to help you is there something i could do 
do you know what I mean? Is there, do you want to say some other stuff or do you, like would I hang out or maybe like talk to you or like I, like uh, you know the gay community reach out? I try to reach out to people that are hiding and they want to come out. Like that's my thing more now. Like, what do you what mean? What can I do thing? to help people? What do you mean your thing? What? Like that? Like that's now the show. Like you're that you're doing the show, so you h hope those people that are in hiding come out. No, I'm saying that's my main focus on. Like, what do I really care? I care about the show being good, but I know the show's good. I need to show up, yeah, to ready good. to go every day, and we'll be fine. Yeah. So that bit's taken care of. It's more about if people reach out to me and go, "Hey, man, I noticed you were talking about this. I haven't felt good about it. Or what would I do? With depression? Or I'm doing I'm doing doing drugs? Or I'm thinking about going to a gym or I don't know. Those are, that's my, that makes sense. That's time for me to do my yeah. job. That's the job where I'm like, hey, man, because sometimes I'm like, oh, God. It's a lot. There's so many people asking me questions. Some of them are like, hey, what kind of car? I'm like, oh, dude, I can't tell you what kind of yeah. car. I have to tell everybody in my car. No. But if it's real help where I can, where I, people have said they're going to kill themselves and then they haven't. That's heavy. So that's all I'm here for. And yeah. that and my kids and my wife. That's those people I'm just like, they care enough for me to say something. Please, Jason, say something that can help them, like get your Put brain right together. Path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That like, shift, though, for you, as someone like I feel like I have a pretty good um, perspective on you as a as a broadcaster because I do your show once a week, so I'm there. I see it from the. You end. do it every what? Every Friday. Every Fat Friday. Cock Fridays, Brendan. It's huge. Fat Cock Friday. Ironic that I get I to show up, yeah. son, because we have Big Dick Monday here. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Should hang out. You guys should do a crossover dicks. show on Wednesday. Big like dick, the fat meeting cock of the fat, Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't get that one. It's probably good. <laughs> um, but like for me, I and and I also I know you as a person very well, and I think that the show has in the last two years or so gotten increasingly better, which is because to of Jason's personal shift. He, Growth, you mean? He is such a different guy because that that desire to light the world on fire has gone away and Jason's just more invested in being a better Jason mm -hmm. and um he's so much easier to work with and his co his his actual you know how was so bad his actual like co-hosts and stuff cuz I only have to deal with so it once bad. a week I only have to deal with it once a week and Jason always has cut me a different sense of like reverence and stuff compared to his like daily co-host but like the, it it's was just tough, tough because he's such a type A guy. He's I so know, ambitious. He's so hardcore. I, get it. I feel like you totally. It. I feel like you've done some stuff. It's that's why that's why my, like famous people freak out. People attack him. Like, have you had <laughs> like a million dollars and all of a sudden everybody loves everything you do? Have you had that happen to you? Because until you have. I don't want to say shut the fuck up, but you you don't know. <laughs> kind of shut the fuck you should, up. You should shut the, the fuck up. A little shut fucked up. Because you yeah. don't know. Maybe you've been next to somebody that had it. You can <laughs> kind of know. But even That'll then, you, even then you should the still up. eat a little bit. Shut the fuck <laughs> yeah, up. Shut the fuck up. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy, man. It is. Like, it's I, trying I, to navigate I, that world, man. I even feel like what you're saying right now, people are going to be like, oh, they're bitching about being successful. Well, not. Don't get no, them twisted. Very happy to be here. <laughs> Just saying, you don't fucking know. No. You don't. It's like, it's, look at this bitch. You've never been hot, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. You've never but, but it's also with like the turmoil I've dealt with in 2020 with friends and their issues. People are like, dude, you need to do this. You should do this. I'm like, oh, yeah? Have you ever have you ever been in the situation? <laughs> have you ever been in the situation? That's not the way it works, man. I think yes. it makes it even hotter. I feel like being up and and things are always it's usually win. You know what I mean? Usually I'm on the right track. I've done the bad things in my life. I kind of know where I excel and I usually pick the right thing these days. Usually I win. If we're doing stuff, I, hey man, you're doing pretty good. No, no shit. Seems to happen to me for a lot. I am fucking <laughs> yeah. work hard for it. That's yeah. why. It's absolutely it's not when bad things happen and you've been just like playing it along and it's like, whoa, you're like, whoa, I was like on the cruise ship. Yeah, man. With my, you're getting a tan. What the fuck is happening now? It Where'd makes this it, come from? I feel for you, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's also, it's also like, I, I've, I've said it so many times and people will DM me with questions because they don't understand but like i've always said my life was so much easier when i was using drugs and drinking every day <laughs> my life so much better now oh, it's gotcha. a million times better I say but my, better. Life, I my like, life was so much where easier. are we going yeah, my life well, was so much easier I, drink? I woke up i had one thing on my mind <laughs> and i was like where am i going to get drugs where am i going to how how am i going to start drinking 
and then I achieved that yeah, and everything was fine. Yeah. And I didn't worry about mortgage. I didn't worry about being respected by my child. I didn't worry about my wife and her, her feelings. I didn't worry about my standing professionally. Yep. Now I, I everything uh, is drugs. so, so high. I, I'm, I'm so kind of high strung when it comes to like remaining above the standards that I set for myself. When you set no standards, it's really it's easy, really, it's really easy, easy but but yeah. it's also it's not very fulfilling, you know, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make you very happy, you know. And I think that that's on a on a larger scale, that's kind of the way things are in any professional field. You when when you're just kind of scratching the surface, you don't really hold yourself to that kind of standard. But then yeah. when you get to a point where you have success, it's 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 it can be miserable to then try to not only maintain it professionally, but also maintain your sanity within that world. You know, it's it's. And again, it's not bitching about being successful. I'm simply saying, especially in entertainment and sports, because there's no fucking stability. And having no stability in your life as a grown man with a family it's crazy. is really fucking hard to wrap your head around with. You know, it's it's a really well, tough you, thing. But then to add to that, then you toss in social media and there's a million opinions and there's this and there's that. So I'm like, I'm out. Yeah, well, if you care. You yeah, try to help exactly. the people on there. Exactly. Then every now and then you go down a wormhole of you're having a conversation where you care and this person was just trying to ruin your day. Yep. And now you've been booby trapped into, hey man, but you see the thing, fuck you moron, you suck dicks. And I'm like, ah, like, God damn man, it. I was, Waste fuck time. man, I was trying to help. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know, I suck a dick. <laughs> you find, you find though, that <laughs> for every one of those, they come back me feel bad All about right. it. So, but I was sucking, I didn't feel that bad about it. But now, what else man, you got? It's hard man. to argue with. I have sucked dick. Yeah, um, but what else you got? <laughs> yeah, but but do you find though, like I'm sure you both have experience with it. For every one of the yeah, but you suck dick guy, there's also the, 10, the dude positive. that you respond. You, you know, even if it's a troll, and you respond, and you say something, and the guy goes. Oh, dude, I didn't think you were going to actually respond. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean yeah. that. I, that yeah. happens so much where I was like, yeah. well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I, I guess I'll mm, try to do better. There's still a lot of people that go, and, yep, you still suck dicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah, go, thanks, man. A couple man. of those people like, that. oh, man, really? I just suck dicks. Give me a break. It's like, you fucking suck mad dicks. I'm like, <laughs> Did I say up? mad dicks? Yeah. yeah. yeah like, Everybody right, gets in. I wouldn't classify you as someone who smokes or sucks. Smokes. Sucks, <laughs> ma you smoke, smoke sucks that, mad dicks. You fucking watch it, all right? Like, I'll make some dick sucking jokes, but now you're telling. I'm a pole smoking maniac. Or I, don't, something? Is I that would not call you a pole smoking no, maniac. He said, I, don't think, I don't think you I suck smoke. mad dick. I would say you suck yeah. dick. But you're not a mad dick sucker. Yeah, different game. <laughs> what, 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 about if I, what about every time I suck dick, I suck it like a mad man? Does that make mad dick <laughs> nah, suck? There, that there makes you, go. you good. A little tweak. There you go. Look, okay. if I'm going to do stuff, I already said I do it. Why not commit? It's all in. Why right. not commit? Zero to 100. Uh, you know what? To the point where if you suck my dick poorly, I'm kind of baffled. <laughs> 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 ah! I, felt, yeah, I feel like a lot of young. And by the way, meaning when I was also young, but uh, hot, super hot chicks suck dick poorly because they're like, why would I have to? Like, you yeah, know what I'm not, saying? That's not why you do it. You do it because you want to. Otherwise, don't. Yeah, do I it. feel like there's yeah, those girls that are so end. fucking hot. They don't. They yeah, don't like, I don't want to be doing this. Yeah, I can get it. Whatever. Yeah, you got it all fun. wrong. Yeah. You know, what about if you liked it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm more into getting big tits. That's what I'm into. You want for yeah, yourself. Yeah, I've always had baby tits. Yeah, you got to get them. Yeah, I know. You got no. sick tits. Oh, you, you mean like benching and stuff? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not a boob job. Oh, I, was like, I can see damn. how you would think that, though. That's fair. It's I talked just, about sucking dicks. I know. I was seconds. like, really, dude? Yeah, no, no. be tough to fight you with titties. You know what? Sucking dick. And I was like, you know what? Come on. The titties would be pretty hard. <laughs> and I don't have <laughs> any, so. Yeah. I was like, what And the maybe if I'm on grind and going, hey, titties. Maybe we'll I mean, get do, more people. Uh, I teach its own. If you want to do that, dude, I'll support you, man. My show would be huge if I had tits. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be bigger. It'd be bigger. Right? Just yeah. giant It'd tits. Be just fucking just wearing like sweep like lingerie and shit <laughs> while I do the show. My next guest will be covered in, and he's like, "Whoa, just sick tits!" And I'm like, "Excuse me, yeah, eyes up, like eyes beautiful, up, beautiful like Kate Upton titties." Yeah. But he, you're, would you're, be, you're, he would be on my tits. I, we could never have a friendship oh, ever again. I'd be like, dude, yeah. here, I'm my eye. Eyes up, buddy. Yeah. I couldn't stop. He would never stop. I feel like you would come on him if I slept. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'd come on your chest now. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted me to. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, but you're you're into big titties, though. That's your thing right now? It's like a phase? Uh, no. No. I mean, I got in trouble with my wife the other day because I was like, this chick is so hot. She was like, she's gross. I'm like, come on. You don't get it? She's like his big giant saggy titties. I'm like, yeah, big giant saggy titties, big old ass and guts everywhere. It's like a monster. You gotta handle it, fucking take care of it. Sure. Keep it all in there while you're doing stuff. She's like, you are tweaked. 
Yeah. I was like, just let me have my thing. That's your thing, big no, tits. But, but like right big now. sloppy ones? Or like big, fake ones? Big ladies. Oh. So BBWs. Did you, say, did you get, oh, like. No, it's like, oh, now I know what you mean. Yeah, you're right. He is hard to work with. I think on big B, yeah, BBWs. BBWs, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. big. And they, you know, and because they're bigger, they talk to me like I'm a kid. Oh, wow. <laughs> they always, they, always call, they call me sugar and shit. Oh, like, shit. Yeah. Where do you find these big bitches at? <laughs> on the streets. You know, I get around. Oh, on the streets? It's, you know, Hometown what, buffet, usually. Tenders and stuff like that. And you see a big one. They're probably Dude, to so me, down. To me, it's usually, I'll, they know and I know. Like, if I'm in a, it's, it's a not anymore, but when I was out about in places, if there was a bigger girl there, like, I'm, you know, hanging out at the table, and, and then I'm like, all right. It's it. It's on. She's a looking. She's a. She's liker. looking at me. She's like, oh, this guy likes big girls. You like, like a chicken fucking, tender. Look at my. You damn right. You yeah. see like a lion, and you're like a zebra because that's what you're seeing right now. A pants on that shit. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Handle. <laughs> but has how long has the big girl thing been going on? I wonder what's from. Twenty five years. I mean, I've always had a crazy spectrum of people like, what kind of girl you're into, and I'm like, I'll allow. I'm into girls that are heavily tattooed. I'm into a lot of black girls. The rest is completely, you can't pick. Same with guys. It doesn't count. It's just one thing I'm going to get, and you suit that thing. Mm -hmm. So if it's like a big girl sex thing, then we're going to have big girl sex and do, because it's a different kind of sex. There's all different moves. It's different. There's, there's, there's weight in it. There's mo moving stuff. Is can't like, be light in the ass. Yeah, it's like sleeping with China. You know what I mean? It's a different, you're going to have wrestling sex. We're going to have big rest shoulder wrestling sex. He meant the country too. Around. Yeah. <laughs> Billion people, rest, Jason. Rest fucked. He peace, fucked China. China. Yeah. He fucked it. Yeah, but I don't feel like my tits are big enough to you, be on Do you this. like muscular chicks? Yeah. Yeah. I want to sleep with UFC fighters. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Paulo yeah. Costa. Yeah. I do know. It's really, no, my wife wants Paulo Costa so bad. And I do too. It grosses me out, which I fucking You're talking hope. about the Ricky Martin of I, UFC? I hate his stumpy arms <laughs> and his bold patch on the back of his head. Fuck that! He picked guy. out his two flaws. That's he is so beautiful, though. though. I yeah, know. he's a good looking dude. He's really handsome. So she loves him. She posts about him all the time about how she wants to suck him off and shit. I'm like, you're just <laughs> showing everybody you want to fuck Stumpy. I hope Izzy kicks him in the face so that I can stand in the living room. Going, <laughs> is he a <gasps> is he a knock him out? I think he. I mean, he is a better striker. And if they're gonna Stop have Bender, is better than 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 Paul Acosta. Way fuck you. Way better. Yeah. But you know the. Little glove Shit happens. supercharger. Shit he, happens. If he punches you, you're going out. That's he's a mean yeah. fucker too, Paulo Costa. He's a he's a tough. I, I, I think dude. it's <laughs> easiest, easiest matchup in a while though. I think he starches him. So do I. Yeah. Because I keep. I've Stop watched. Bender starches him. He's just a thousand. He has a thousand more moves, and he's not scared. He's not going to like get weird. About he's it. fought big, strong knockout artists before. You know. He's he is a a. A really slick, refined striker too. Like I don't get, think people understand. Like Stylebender is. Can go fucking ninja mode. He's and a thousand there's not, times better. There's not that Wait, many. In any fundamentally, way better. You know? Yeah, he's the best there. Is. Every every he's the elbow, best there is. everything. Walks. He's the best we have to offer. He's the, the best we have. Best product we have. Standing. He might be the best in the UFC. Uh, now that I think, I can only think of uh, people that no, he's are the best we have on his offer. level in MMA uh, in striking. I can only think of like a couple, like Gaston Bolanos in Bellator. That guy's Stug. fucking stick, and and Joe Schilling obviously. When it comes to MMA though, I can't think th of those many. Those guys can't hold a candle to stub in yeah, he's he's pretty. He's Look what he did awesome. to Whitaker, dude. That's insane. That is insane. And he didn't get taken. He like it's didn't nuts. get out wrestled it's by nuts, it. dude. anybody. Uh, with uh, the serious family, Howard Stern, he's on his last contract, right? It, you sure? Yeah. I mean, I don't think those dudes leave. I think they just Larry King it. They just do like a, he'll do like three days a week or two days yeah, a week. Yeah, I think they're just going to cut down. Everyone's all worried he's going to leave. I'm like, where's he going to go? They'll never shift him to me. It's over. And I'm too raw. Anyway. What do you What do you mean? You mean you'll there never was a be time like, there oh, Jason, where it was like the future next. of Sirius yeah. XM, blah blah blah. But they got they're like, dude, the whole. I just talk way too much about you know, like Stern did this new thing where he's got celebrities and he's a little less raw, and that's sort of what mainstream wants from people and i'm i've gone the opposite you know i mean blowing grinder it's not yeah it's not like mainstream like oh man let's get a bunch of sponsors and they are on that tip they want corporate sponsors i get and it i don't sell yeah, I get they're it. like wait what did he just say yeah theragun doesn't want to know about my saturday night. fucking big girls yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. because people love hearing about fucking big girls. i know but they're yeah i think I howard it. is like how you were describing muhammad ali in his retirement he still was at fights going no 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 i'll get in your camp and then like i think when it comes to broadcasting and doing a radio show the guy 
there's that fire has not gone out. It's, His interviews it's a, are good. It's a different can, show though, for sure. It's always wildly, it's wildly different. It's wildly different, but it's, I don't think he's that, I mean, I think he lives and breathes doing quality radio and, yeah. and he can never be, be stuck. Really he would die. Pulled away from what it. Else yeah. He, yeah, I agree. I don't know what else he would do. Like Regis, like he might just leave for like the last five years of his life and it's then die. That match, he's pretty healthy, dude. Dog. Yeah, I think that dude just like eats little bits of salmon. Like he sounds like he really takes care of himself. He's doing better. His now. parents are still alive. Yeah, I know. The dude's fucking seventy and his parents are alive. What else is she gonna do, dude? And, the, right. and they're, they're lucid. Like his dad can't hear very well, but he's still sharp. Right. Which you ever he will be alive call until the show. He's hundred. So bad, I can't Go hold pee. anymore. Jason, I'll talk. Yeah. Wait, that's how that works. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> if you want, you want on your show. If you want. <laughs> All right, jizz on my chest. Let's go. Hey, y'all. It's been reported that Americans are overpaying on car insurance by over $20 billion. Tw $21 billion. Forget $20, $21 billion. By searching for a better deal can take hours, typically results in a barrage of underwater spam calls, all that hoopla. Don't worry about it. Until now, there's thezebra.com. Thezebra.com is the nation's leading car insurance comparison site because it's the only place you can compare quotes side by side from over 100 providers. Choose the best for you in 90 seconds or less. Plus, they will never sell your information to spammers, none of that, so you won't get those unwanted calls or emails. You just answer a few simple questions. It's quick, it's easy. You find the best rates and coverage in your state. Um, TechCrunch calls the Zebra Kayak for auto insurance. The best part is it's completely free. You can save up to $670 a year by using Z thezebra.com. All right. How much can you save on car and home and home insurance? Go to today and start saving at thezebra.com slash fighter. That's thezebra.com slash fighter. It's spelled T H E. Z E B R A dot com slash fighter. If you can't spell the zebra, you probably shouldn't have a home or car, but the zebra dot com slash fighter. So, w realistically, when do you think you can start like training? Training? Uh, well, I uh, I went in the water yesterday, nice with the knee brace on in the ocean, yeah, nice and moved around in it. So, I can move my leg. So, I got another tomorrow. I get physio and she gives me the whole pass on what I can do next. But I can go in the water now, so I think I'm going to ask if I, if Nick Kurson can start coming around. Awesome. But I don't know how much further. I'm going to ask if I can hit pads because now I can sit down a little bit. I don't want it to rip or anything, so I'm doing what everybody tells me. Sure. But I think because um, I'm up in my steroid intake. Very good. <laughs> shit has changed, man. The HGH is no joke. I can say that, right? It's li yeah. I got legal HGH. It's not. I got it from my doctor, but- he said double up, and ever since I've doubled up, I can just tell. I know when my physio comes tomorrow, she's going to go, holy shit, yeah. we could probably do this, this, and this. But I don't, th so I don't know if I can move around. I don't. I know I can't jump up and down or squat, but I don't know what the r rules of, of is it, having is it in Is it there. realistic to think like you could be training hard in like six weeks? No, no, no. that's not. I, I, because I think it's more uh, in six weeks from now, can I squat? No. But can no, you run? But, but yeah. You, could you be- Could you do an exercise you, bike full speed? Go yeah. to like Muay Thai and like actually train and hit a bag and hit pads? I and think hit pads for sure. I don't know about getting hit. So if that's where you're at in six weeks, like spring of 2021, we're thinking Luis J. Gomez? Yeah, because I want at least, a, I want a fight camp after it's 100%. Yeah. Then I want three months of fight camp or two months, sorry. Fuck yeah. I'll be fine. He, I saw he posted a video where he's f 240 pounds. He's a bigger guy than you. And he has to, he's, because I think he's trying to get, I don't even know what weight class he's trying to, I think he's trying to fight me at 205. Yeah. But his whole thing is like, can I get, 40 pounds is a lot of out of shape. Yeah. If your fight weight is 205 and you're walking at 240 and you don't look like Paul Acosta. Right. No, and, just, and um and like the, the the George Lockhart's and Mike Dolce's of the world, like the guys who are the best at it, they'll tell you like uh Yoel Romero, Paulo Costa, it's much easier for them to cut weight than it is for DC or you know, someone who's carrying a little more in body fat. Talking about? Uh, Louis getting ready for his fight and Louis Shea Gomez getting forty pounds. Two oh five. Two forty? Yeah. How tall is he? He's like the same height as me. Uh is, is he out of shape? He's fat, yeah. Oh fuck. So he's, he's so he posted a video. And what do you weigh? Probably like two fifteen. So you guys gonna fight at two hundred five? 
whatever he wants. I said I said one ninety five, but if whatever he wants, I don't care. Catch weight. I don't really care about that part. But he should be more concerned about just being in shape than what he weighs, because that's all I care about. If he wants to go down more than that, great. But I two forty tells me, and and I could tell after he fought that other guy at Ellis Mania, I saw him at serious. Like I don't know, a month later, <laughs> he was like twice the size. And I remember, I remember busting that's his balls it. in the elevator, going, "Wow!" Just had the fight and just scratched the whole like, "Let's get in the gym" thing because he got big. But I also think like watching that fight with him and Ryan. Um, and talking to him a little bit uh, at Ellis Mania before it, um, I, I do think he's the type of guy, he'll be in shape. Dude, he's, he's just he's, into it, Sean. Yeah, he's, he's just fucking- Committed. That's why I said yes, because he's him and Bisbing. Yeah. He's like, he's doing he's doing like videos of his journey that's to cool. beating my ass. So yeah, it's, cool. He's going to put in the work. Yeah, that's cool. And you know, like you just said with Izzy, he's, he's a better striker than Paul Acosta, but he could get caught and knocked out. I feel like it's the same thing, but even more questionable on my behalf because I'm a better striker than him, but I'm still Jason Ellis, the better striker. Does he him. have any Which background? Means I can hit in, easy. Does he have any background in anything? He's no. Puerto Rican, so he's definitely fought. <laughs> he just thinks he likes no. to scratch. There's doesn't, definitely a, a history. There's got to be. Doesn't count. His boxing yeah. looked like he wasn't. He's better. Than, uh, he has better hands than CM Punk. Yep. I'll I'm back, not trying I'll to be funny. That. It's not I'll back much, that. But yeah. It's not saying How, much, okay. but if you're fighting me, it's saying a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Bring, remember you were trying to fight CM Punk? I would still fight that guy. That's <laughs> I mean, the, he's that's not the fight to, to make. Remember when he's in the UFC, we are trying to- Yes, dude, I, I was talking to Dana about it. He was like, dude, do you know how many people asked me for that? And I was like, boy, do I feel like an idiot. I'm sure everybody. I'd love your professional opinion. Yeah. How can a guy train with Duke Rufus for years- and still throw punches like on, like man. my wife. That's how hard the game is. I understand that's that. That's how hard it is. But I, I, I'm not expecting him to go out there and be <laughs> fucking Anderson in his peak prime. But, but I'm I, saying, how does some he, people when he's have, shadow boxing for the fucking camera, how do you work with Duke athletic ability, but then also, I think, when he was in the training room, he, on mitts and stuff, and maybe sparring, he looked okay. But you're going from zero experience to the main card in the UFC. Yeah. So he's like, holy fuck. Yeah. This isn't the WWE. It's like, nah, bitch. Dude, it's a when real you dude. Throw, and his name's Mickey Gall. He's going to twist your fucking head off. When you, you know, when you hit pads, when you hit pads, does your coach every now and then correct you on your shit because you haven't been there for a couple of days? Yeah. Okay, imagine if you've been training for six months or a year, whatever he's been training for, and now Mickey Gall's coming at you full speed. Do you think that right hand's going to be the one that your coach has been working no, on? No, 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 no. Forgot everything. I, everything. I, like I said, I don't need, I never expected him to be out, uh, like, even crisp in the fight. I'm saying like when he do those like uh, the the like warm up pieces the UFC would do that was the they'd worst show thing. him like like shadow boxing and I'm like even oh, that was bad he throws but he look, throws look, like look like a uh, bagel boss but you look know? at Brock Lesnar who's a perfect example freak the never freak, be good at striking he'll never be yeah. good with freak his hands. of all freaks and even his striking like Jesus Christ dude and he's working with the best in the world and athletically you're talking pr maybe the biggest freak ever in the yeah. UFC yeah. it just takes a long time Matt Hughes like, can't punch. There, well, there's, there's, there's. He tried body composition makeups too that that you can't get around. Like Jake Shields, perfect. Jake Shields is a gnarly fucking MMA fighter Dude. and a insane okay, grappler. He'll best. just never. What's you can work on it as much as you want. And he's super disciplined. Okay, just some people's body doesn't have the he, the, the fast twitch. Before I forget, I'm punchy. That guy, yeah. Jake Shields. Then the guy, the other guy that hangs out with the Diaz brothers. Don't fucking come at me, you guys. You won't even <laughs> see me anyway. But fucking calm down. Smoke weed. Let's calm down. His buddy that fought in Bellator this weekend that fucking threw an illegal headbutt. Did you oh, see that's that? That's what Daniel was talking about. Yeah, it's yeah. his yeah. blonde it's his guy it's his jiu coach. Yeah, dude, this guy, Jake Shield, what is with the people that train with two of the best boxers in MMA have the worst boxing in MMA? Like, if you're the Diaz brother's buddy and you're like, yeah, fucking vegan meals, <laughs> in Bellator, I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't you punch at all? They didn't. They, oh, they were just like, no, dude, you teach me wrestling. And they're like, what about my hands? I don't know. You figure that shit out yourself. It was the worst. You didn't see it? Jiu Jitsu guy. AJ you didn't see it? Is, the AJ's worst display class. of fucking sportsmanship I've ever seen in my life. Dude is losing halfway through the fight. He's got the mount and fucking headbutts the guy. No Beyond way. illegal. And what'd they do? Fucking nothing. Kept the fight going. They were arguing with each other. Ref Beltram was trying to tell him to shut up at what you didn't see the end? No. So the end, they're still bitching at each other because the dude's like, haha, you lost, and Diaz's boy is an angry little bitch man. He's a very you can tell he's a mean world spirited class guy. Jiu -jitsu, yeah. World class jujitsu, yeah. World class. Well, great. Top, top okay, yeah, world. Just because yeah. you're world class doesn't mean you have to be a dick. No, I agree. 
We just discussed that. But I think that's a personality thing, too. Look at this headbutt. Right? Because he's like that in grappling. Like, just a headbutt in the mount. And the ref does nothing. He tried to, he, he did, I think he gave him a warning or he, he stood him up at one point and told him to calm that, down. That, that has to be my, you got to take points away, dude. You can't have that. I, I didn't, maybe they did. But at the very end, he tried, Beltran tried to get him to shake hands and little angry guy walked Still off. And Beltran it. went out of the cage and grabbed him, pulled him by the hand Stud. back and was like, you guys shake fucking shake hands. Fucking hands. <laughs> and then they, look, he wouldn't do it. Because that AJ kid lost. Yeah, and he was super pissed and bitter about it. And the other guy was kind of a little bit happy about it, which made AJ even angrier. And then at the very end, when AJ was like, I'm not even talking, then you could hear the mic and he was like, it's a lot different. This ain't social media, you fucking man, baby. And I was like, She's wow, you just, you just cut him and beat him. Jesus but seriously, Christ. that dude shouldn't even be in Bellator for doing that. I highly doubt they have him back. Oh, really? He want, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many fights he has in there. They're bad. You can't have that, dude. Yeah. I agree. You can't have it. Even if he was good, you shouldn't have it. No, you that. can't have it, dude. You can't have that shit. Yeah, so I thought, why can't the Diaz brothers go, look, dude, I appreciate all, all the wrestling Bellator, help. dude. Yeah, he He's got three thrown three and in. two. I think he got thrown into the mix pretty hard, which I do give him credit for. At least he fought people that were good. With his jiu-jitsu background, it's not like they're going to toss some, you know, bullshit. I, I also think like, people I'm telling you, hands. I think it's a, a lot of it's genetic. Like some people are just not cut out for like, like a lot of grapplers. You see, there's some that have it and some that don't. Like Doc Ray is a perfect example. Elite level grappler. He somehow was able to make that transition. He could snap off some punches. Yeah, he put in the work, dude, because at one point he didn't have that. And then he put it in like Anderson Silver and all that. But you could tell he put in actual work and he wasn't he is fluid. A monster he's fast. Yeah, he's no, he's hardcore. Monster. Like I can think of like maybe three or four people. Americans? Uh, ab above, like uh, there's the super buff, insane buff shit house dude. The big. Shesha? No. Cyborg? Uh, no, white kid. Um, there's, oh, there's Tone Lovato? in. There's Tone in. There's. Uh, the, no, Does super Jared jack Jordan? dude that oh. talks shit to everyone. Um, oh, uh, Gordon. Gordon Ryan. Who's first he's, team all body. He's fucking yeah. insane. And then and then uh, Andre Galvao. I mean, yeah. he's he's so up there. If he's but. so good on the ground, how come he's in the mount and he can't finish that other guy that you don't know I didn't about? see it. I didn't see it. I don't know. But I'm just saying, he gets people down. He Is it just him? like because you can throw strikes, it really nullifies somebody Maybe that good at grappling? Maybe he's trying to figure out the MMA game, and he's not taking as much risk because he don't want to get reversed or something. I don't know. He's not I've, doing I've the Dan and, fight. He, he's not doing the Dan and Dillis, whatever that moron. Dylan Dennis, who fucking ding dong ding bat. Jesus Christ, that guy's got serious brain stud damage. Stud too, though. Man. It's a little bit sad. Stud like, though. Who, what? So he's stud on the ground. Very good. Yeah. Clinically, um, like the dumbest, most <laughs> in the clouds moron I've ever heard talk. How so? Ever. I could beat Brock Lesnar. Fuck, I could beat Mike Tyson. Yep. I could beat Brendan Brendan Sharp on the ground. Any what what? Million dollars right now. Yeah, I know. That dude's doing interviews where he's saying that about just pick a name. I know, but he's just it's all just Ryan uh, Garcia. I know. Million dollars. <laughs> Boxing or MMA. I know. Look, have you seen the guy? He hits like a girl. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you're in, you're insane. But it's all just uh, a persona for him to for us to talk about him. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes. Did you see the interview with Ariel Hawani the other day? I, I know Dylan. And he's faking it. It's all fake. Ah. Dude, you know who his training God damn it. One of his main training partners is. He had me. I was <laughs> one, I tweet at the guy sometimes. Shut the fuck up. Stud. You know Got who, me. You know, Stud, what do you mean? Why keep doing that? Just because he fucking grapples people good? Uh, dude, I'm monster. Can't box. Doesn't need to. Box about it a lot too. Yeah, I know. But you know who is one it's of his all main. Fake. He goes, look at my pants. I'm insane. And then he walks off and goes, ha ha ha. I'm gonna. Oh, that's because you're talking about him. That's brilliant. Because because his jujitsu is so <laughs> I feel hot. So stupid right now. <laughs> yeah. And I'm on video. Fuck. Because Dylan's going like this. Got him. See, I already said I was stupid. And you're started tuning in. So I covered my tracks. But you know who, who his main training partner? One of his main training partners is. Conor McGregor. Exactly. So yeah, he, but that doesn't have he had to have been, I'm saying he coach. watched that and, and saw how much value it has in, in being that guy and getting attention. Getting Look attention. at Ben Askren, dude. Wait, Ben Askren's full of shit? He just talks shit because he knows he's a grappler and you're going to tune in to watch him lose. What? What? He, so they just. It's what do you like, mean? He he knew he was going to lose and was just saying that? No, he talks all that shit. Because he could back it up. Damn it. D dickhead can't back it up. You go to the ground. I refuse to learn his name. <laughs> Fuck you. Have you ever seen? But Ben Askren, if you're talking about striking, some of the worst striking we've ever seen in the UFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he can wrestle his fucking tail off. 
Yeah, he's got really bad strikes. He's striking so bad. Yeah. He, it looked like he never even... It's like, I don't care. And in defense, he says that. Defense of Ben Askren, uh, in comparison to someone like Dylan Dennis, uh, Ben Askren's actually funny. Ben Askren is very funny. He's say, I find both, he's of, them done some I think both of them are funny. Because I don't take either one serious. You're the yeah, winner, that's then. true. Yeah, I, they're both. It's like, yeah. It's, it's, I, 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 sorry, I, do like, are, are you mad at fucking Hulk yes. Hogan when he gives a hot take? Uh, oh, to dude. me, it's no different What's than WWE. Take? Like, uh, like when they do a when they cut a promo, they say in oh. wrestling. Oh, Hulk oh. Hogan ain't giving a hot take. By well, the way, well, the bad reference. But okay. if like uh, I don't Jericho, know. Jericho, Jericho. I don't know man. wrestling. He's the fucking man. So Jericho gives a hot promos. promo. You're like, yeah. this is ridiculous. No, he I says he's gonna do what? I Undertaker. Wait, who gives a fuck? Well, because wrestling's fuck fake. Yeah, but and fucking. <laughs> But you get hammered. Crossed over, but you I've seen? done wrestling. All right, so I fucking I know it's oh, it's very sore. I was very sore, but fuck off. <laughs> I did all your fucking moves in half an hour. I was very sore. How many but fucking wheel kicks can I did you see my wheel kick and then see my fucking suplex? See which sport is real. Yeah, he's, he's good at suplexing. At yeah, yeah, because it's not it's fucking real. Yeah, it's not real. Fuck yeah. off. No, but the, these guys, they're just, they're doing these takes and people are paying attention. There's to value it. to it. There's yeah. value. There is value. Because it's entertaining. This is freaking me out, man. A hundred percent fake. Like, he, has he ever said to you guys, dude, see the last thing I just said? Fucking people are freaking out. Uh, Colby Covington. What do you think yeah. of him? Um, yeah, I've heard that that's fake, but I don't believe it. I think that he's really I'm, an asshole. Nope. Great, one of the best people I know. Also, oh, also very fuck funny. Fuck off. Also I had very my funny. food truck and I went, Kobe, listen. Oh, fuck off because he went to your food truck. Of course, he's on his best behavior. <laughs> no, listen. He's on the fucking spotlight. No, he wasn't. <laughs> oh, fucking. Uh, no, he was. camera, love you, but then on camera. No, was he no, he was. I went, dude, let's just quit the gimmick. We don't need the girls here. He's like, dude, you know, I can't do that. Like, I got to run with. So <laughs> it's like, that's that, that, that's all plan. That's all shtick. He's a good dude. It's all, dude, it's entertainment. It's entertainment fighting now. <laughs> I've, I've heard guys type. I've heard I can't, I can't. Jason, Jason. You found out how the hot dog dog made, thing. Dude. Jason. Nah, I've heard like four or five people. Fucking dick. Four or five people off the air I, that no have said the same thing about you're Kobe. suckers. You're sucked in. <laughs> you're, you're the dumb ones. I don't like, know Kobe. I'm like, just saying oh, a lot of people shut that. Do you I know just Cam have to be a cocksucker all? right now. But trust me, when we get off the camera, I'm gonna fucking be totally pleasant and not be into whores. I'm telling you. Fuck off. He is a fucking moron. Not into horse. Racist horse. He's a fucking idiot. Wait, why is he a racist? Because he's a I don't know. Because fuck him. I, I can make up shit too. I'm going to be super friendly when the fucking camera's off. Trust me. Yeah. But, and you, do you I'm, tell I'm, people Alice is actually pleasant off the camera like you, I am? You've always been nice. It's not true. <laughs> I'm to a me. dick. I'm a dick. I've talked so much shit on you. You don't even know. Yeah, I don't care. Damn it. Because I know you don't mean it. Yeah, I didn't really. I'm trying to think of what I have. Yeah, but for him, it's all uh, it's all uh, shtick, dude. It's like... Come on, a hundred, a hundred percent. Like, does he? Do you think he's had sexual relations with any of those girls? I doubt it. Sexual relations. I doubt it. Sexual <laughs> relations. Fuck <laughs> fucking TV. We're working for fucking with me, dude. CNN Sorry. now. Yeah, I think you were. I've been watching the news a little bit. <laughs> Fucked with no, me. Has he had no, be, no, because he came on my show and he, the, there were two hired girls. You'll love this. There are two hired girls, and I go, dude, you gotta quit this because I'm not gonna go along with it. He goes, I don't care. Do your thing, man. Then we'll figure it out. So I so we get done with the interview. You know he's doing the whole stick, <laughs> and I go, I go, dude, we we gotta go in the back and eat. That's where we're gonna do the interview. He goes, okay, cool. And the girls are back there. It's just awkward. And he's like, and he's like, dude, what what can I do? Because I'm telling you, it's all an act. He goes, uh, hey, he looks at one of the girls <laughs> we hired. You know, gorgeous girls. This Brazilian he goes, hey, uh, babe, will you? He goes, but, but while they're filming, we come massage my shoulders like while I'm eating. She goes, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes all right that's cool oh man. yeah no he's just he's just thinking about all like how can i make piss so many people off who are going to tune in but you're saying right after the camera's off he doesn't talk to them? them no not at all he's not sexually interested in them not at is all. he married i don't know is he gay no he likes chicks but the, <laughs> as far that was a business it's a business tra he was like someone's gonna pay he's, you see ya in the interview was he mean to you no 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 so then how is it different when he's on or off camera? In the interview, he's, he mean, the girl. He, he's mean to his opponents, and the girls are just- Okay, off girls. camera, is he like, actually, I really like my opponent? I don't think he hates any of them. I don't. <laughs> this is heartbreaking <laughs> to me. I don't know. I like MMA. He probably hates me saying this. I'm he's sure going to deny guys, it. All, all the guys are denying it. I'm going to believe him. Yep. <laughs> he's better actor than you. They're I good. believe his hatred for the world and his I opponents. Know. Fuck!
But the, he's the, good though, so he's good, and that's why I don't. He's less annoying because he's a real guy that can back it up. Can't argue. He's with that. A Dylan Dennis is fighter. not. D but you gotta realize Dylan Dennis only has what five pro f MMA fights against fucking. I could beat up every dude he fought. Bum fights, and you didn't even stand with him at all. Shot in from like six foot away to grab an ankle. Cancelled when. I mean, you know what. Douglas Lima, he's like Douglas Lima is going to give me a fight. I, is that fake? He's saying, is that a fake thing? What do you when mean? he says that? No, I, I think it's fake. Yeah, Douglas Lima's not going to fight him because he would be murdered. Douglas Lima, you have would the belt when it, but it makes no sense for Douglas Lima. Douglas Lima's like, wait, what? No, I'm, he I'm even fighting know, championship. Yeah, does he even know who Dylan? Da I mean, Dylan. I'm sure, he does. Dylan, Dylan Dowsu, as far as the MMA world, is very famous because you know there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Kind of great. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Great. I know. And, and he is he is legit. I mean, like in in the world of grap uh, of phenomenal. submission grappling, he's he's phenomenal. A, okay. Well, you go to the ground, he's gonna choke out yeah. anybody. Yeah. I like him five percent more. <laughs> I'll take it. Jo hey, my job. You done. guys did a great job. You did Thank a great you. job. Thank you. My job's done. Do I will I will no longer tweet. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> you moron. <laughs> the my gay friend uh, told me there's a bunch of fake me's on Grinder. I need you to investigate. Yeah. There's You're like not. a bunch of it's fake not. pictures of okay. you. It's not. There's like profiles that are. That's kind of pictures. flattering, right? I'm totally okay with it. God, I wonder I'm if there's saying, a fake me on there, man. I oh, hope there's there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. I'm on there all day. Mm. But, but, is, what, but how's grinder work? Is it only like in a mile radius? Yeah, no. Nah, if you have like, I have like the platinum account or something, so like <laughs> it goes like spreads that way further. So how? But how? People I don't, from around I don't the world know how these apps out. work. So how's it work? So is it worldwide? Like some dude in it, Japan's like, yeah. yeah, I'll fly out there. Oh, wow. Yeah, sometimes I see oh, did it go like, hey, man, how's it going? And I'll see it's like 7,000 miles. And I'm like, what? Nope. Oh, What's I fly happen? to you. He fucked my butt. But if <laughs> fuck my butt. Suck in your butt. But if it was like 40 miles away, you'd be down. I mean, if you want to drive over and suck it, sure. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I don't. Everyone's too nasty. So I don't. What do you mean too nasty? People, I, I'm married to a girl. So I don't want to bring home chlamydia like I have more than once. So now I just from blowjobs dude it's great for your podcast but <laughs> you can get chlamydia from yes blowjobs? dude you can get gonorrhea from a blowjob <gasps> they have it in their mouths you got it i got all of them from a blowjob because i don't i but how's that because they've got it in their mouth weird yes Do you know this i i i've heard these urban myths i didn't know it was a real thing <laughs> it's like a see look there's just all people that's grinder yeah and grinders are only for dudes oh yeah oh you know there's there's a couple girls in there every now and then it's like hey i want to try when you straight, guys. is there any straight gay boys that want to like do a girl? And I'm like, hey, but no, <laughs> not, even, not like I said, not any. I can't. There was a time there when Katie and I were free spirited and learning the ropes of sleeping with all different kinds of people and getting bit by diseases or people that say they can do something a little bit sketchy. And it's like, ah, oh, man, I need this guy out of this you house. Need or I need that. this girl out of the house. Yeah. I fucked up. So now we just don't play any of that anymore. It's just more. I have a couple people that people I know, you know and trust, and that's it. A nice battery. But it's grinding uh, for the straight. Guys. It's uh, Tinder. Tinder for girls. Yeah. And then you're on Tinder too? Yep. Tinder's not as easy because in my Tinder. Because <laughs> there's girls involved. Well, I, that and I state in my account that I'm a married man that you know, you're just getting sex. You're not getting a relationship. And most girls are not interested in that. And they're on Tinder? Dude, almost every Tinder girl says... Uh, you know, no fuck boys. Or, you know, if you're looking to just fucking swipe, you know, everybody states the whole, they only want to have a relationship. That's, that's 90% of You're on Tinder. I don't, uh, I'm just not telling. saying those girls. It's like you're on Tinder. I mean, come on. Right. Man. I mean, uh, yeah. But on Grinder, the dudes are like sucking literally dicks, just here to fuck suck your dick. ass. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get photos of assholes. Not even hello. That's aggressive. <laughs> yeah. But that's dude, dude. Since I did that article that and like came out, what article? Properly, this app magazine, like the gay, big thing in the gay community. So they did like a big interview on me and stuff. That changed everything. That How so? The gay community knows me. I'm in, a part of the community. So there's like all these people that have reached out going, I think it's really brave. And there's not many people like you that talk about it. And so I have like a big audience that don't know the show. They don't know skateboarding. They just know this one article. And That's they think good, it's really- That's good, right? Yeah, I love it. I love- I'm not a part of, when you buy, you're kind of not a part of any of them, but to be- No one claims you, you're saying? Buy, buy, a lot of gay people say buy is just a straight boy 
who's like either in denial or just a straight boy. Oh, interesting. It's like, you're going to be fully gay. You just don't know it yet. And I'm like, what? I'm 48. Fucking my wife every yeah, day. Happen. Are you sure it's going to happen? Yeah. So they, I think that's like an old school memory, like old school theory. Did you, did you first come out on the Jason Ellis show? No, I came out on the Stern show. On Stern? Yeah. How long ago? Four, four years ago. Yeah. And what, what and came back to the show the next day. What Howard say? Um, that's why they want me. They either want me on there to torture my penis or to tell everybody I'm gay. That's it. Like you're just a, you're a pawn. Sorry, but you are. It's like, I got, I got did they, on. Did they know you were gonna do it? Like they were like, yeah, hey, yeah, Jason, what pro- are you gonna talk about? He's like, oh, I'm gonna come out. <laughs> yeah, they did the the what they always do the interview beforehand, and I knew from coming out to my my wife's girlfriends, like she told them, and they were like, oh, I think it's really cool, and I started talking to them about it, and it was. They were, you know, sort of thought it was even cool because a lot of them are, a lot of my friends are gay girls. So they were like, oh, cool. And they made it feel good. And then that was right when the Stern Show were like, hey, we're going to have you back on. Is there anything new in your life you want to talk about? And, <laughs> I, and I remember I could feel it, man. I could feel talking about it to these girls made me feel better about myself because I could see in their eyes, they weren't like, that's cool, man, that you're doing that. Like they were like, yeah. And I was like, they generally are not disgusted. Like I would think most people would be. Yeah. Which is a fucking cringe thing, dude. Like, it, so when the interview came, I was like, I'll oh, just just say it, Jason. So I just told them, and I remember the guy interviewing me going, "Oh, what, what was that? <laughs> oh, uh, are you sure you want to talk about that?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's why I'm bringing it up." Oh, okay. And he's just like, "Oh, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Off. Like, oh, we're gonna get fucking gay on the Stern show." Yeah, yeah. Jason, big macho so guy. So then, how, how was Howard like? So. How's the love life? Like, how did he tee it up? I can't exactly remember, but I knew the question was coming from the tone before he said it. So, and I was like, oh, here comes here the, goes. the gay thing. And, <laughs> and, and like, you, were, yeah. you were sweating bullets? It has to be nerve wracking. Eh, I'm more, to me, it's more about doing really good on the Stern Show when I'm going there. To me, it's like a fight or a skateboard contest. Like all my- Gotta kill it. Everything is, is on fire and, and there's no, at all costs. So- I only remember the one thing that I knew I wasn't going to allow was the f- time before I was on there, he talked a lot about my dad molesting me. And, uh, and I was like, I get it because some of you are like laughing at it and shit. But if you say like my dad, I suck my dad's dick again, I'm probably going to check you and tell you to stop doing that. I don't really feel like it's that funny anymore. Yeah, that's not cool. But he didn't. You know, he's not like that. Yeah. I just That was the only thing that I had that I would draw the line at. Like if he started going, hey, well, you're sucking your dad's dick. I'm like, you know what, dude? Not that funny. Yeah. Know, now that now that I've thought about it a lot, not really that funny at all. You should think about it a little bit too. But so then, when, so when then you came out, where they're like, "Oh, that's cool, man." <laughs> it's a weird. <clears throat> that place is very understanding, and that was cool. And we were just being funny at all costs, being funny, dude. Like I put nipple clamps on my balls and had George to take them off, not because I want nipple clamps on my ball. Like I'm just be funny. Entertainment. They. Entertainment. Were, I remember Stern going. Dude, can he take him off? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could tell Stern was like, you're fucking knocking it out of the park right now. And I was like, Stern and I are doing Radio Gold. I'm doing Radio Gold with Howard Stern. I can see Gary, everybody going, this guy is fucking killing it right now. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I came to do was yeah. to knock it out of the park. They were like saying, we're the best fucking show ever afterwards. And I'm like, yes, Jason, yes. That's good. And so the next time I came, you can't really beat it. You know, it was more like about gay things and i really just don't like started to turn into sad stuff like why and oh yeah, molestation yeah. i'm like i'm actually doing really good yeah, i'm having a great time and sucking dicks i don't cry when i do it it's it's fun i'm having fun with my life yeah my wife knows nobody's cheating my kids know like it's all out and then after you did howard stern then when he came back to your show <laughs> did you i'm sure like because you're I don't know. You know, the, I guess the fan base, they probably had no idea, right? So It's did, a bit of a did, shock. Did to ratings everybody. drop down or was it like- Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I only know because you don't tell me ratings, but I know from social media. Social media dropped a lot, still has been affected from that. I, I get it. People, Some people are angry. Some people are just like, it's not for me anymore. Who gives up? My thing is to anybody, who gives a fuck, dude? I don't get I, it. Yeah, I don't but, understand. Well, because you're a little bit different when it- you're a little bit more open-minded and, and kind of a re- kind-hearted person when it boils down to it. Yeah. Some people have a stick up their ass and yeah. certain things trigger it and it, and they can't get past it. The worst ones to me are people that know me and knew me beforehand and now are like a little off because of it. 
Yeah. I'm like, I ain't trying to fuck you, dude. That sucks, dude. Like, that's so fucked up. You know, like, yeah. uh, I'm also bi. Like, I ain't trying to fuck your wife either. Yeah. But now that I'm out, like, you're thinking I might be checking your ass, it's insulting to me. Like, the fucking um, Cerrone, uh, somebody showed me on my show. Like, Cerrone told, called me a fag to Joe Rogan on the Joe Rogan podcast. And I was like, it was up on the wall. And I was like. That's not cool. I. You guys were, I and mean, I knew that they'd come didn't on mean the show it. and stuff. I yeah, don't, I don't, you know, Cerrone. I don't think he meant it that I know, dude. I actually got in trouble because that article posted they said, What's the worst thing that you think that's happened and since you've come out? And I would say, Probably that, like that, and knowing there were some other friends that said to one other friend, Hey, is, <laughs> is this true about Ellis being bi? And they're like, Yeah, and they're like, Fuck, and knowing that some of my friends have said that behind my back. It hurts. It breaks, breaks my heart a little bit. I've had my heart broken a bunch of times. It's okay. I'm a big boy. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. It did break my heart. Same as watching that video. But I, Donald was on the show. He was explaining to Joe that he was on my show with uh, the lioness. And I was trying to bond with the lioness oh, man, about being is. gay. And I'm bi. <laughs> Donald's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like. It's a funny oh. story. He was trying to tell him a funny it story. It was a regular track. Yeah, and he didn't just, he didn't see it coming. And he, and he reacted the way that. He would around his boys. And I get that because people forget, I'm not gay. I'm bi. And I'm really kind of manly for a, a straight guy. Like, I do yeah. a lot of stupid dude shit. And, and I think so for Cerrone, especially in the, in the Joe Rogan, like, in, in, the, in the studio there, he, for, I don't think he was mean to hurt you, you know? And you know- Donald. I took it that way. I, oh, of course you would. I'm telling I you could, it hurt. But I, I easily think he's understand hanging out with his boys. And it's like- I tell you- both things that comment when then joe said so what did you really think and he was like i thought what the fuck this guy's a faggot and i'm like why would you call me a faggot but i get that that word is not the same to you to to me it's it doesn't carry the now. same weight and i thought joe why don't you say something you're the wiser man you ain't saying something so i feel like you agree with him that i'm a faggot mm, that's, that's me not. i know dude i'm just telling you what my brain thought when i saw that's the fair. video Go, that's your video yeah, and then i validated and, and then when i did the interview and talked about that they posted it and tagged both of them and i said back hey like you don't you weren't there it really didn't i understand like you're about to say what their angle was and i didn't think that it was actually that malicious i felt like it was just them being dudes and then the uh, the magazine, the they, they're like, that's what you said. And I was like, I know, that's what I said. You need to stand up for yourself. And I'm like, I am, but I don't need The article to just wants clicks. They well, right. Fun. And also, like, some people are like, man, do you hear this dude said this about you? I'm like, wait. And I'll look. I'm like, dude, that's nothing. I Any reference to that. Joe Rogan, they're going to want to use that. I mean, that's obviously yeah. good publicity. I but did not retweet that. I told uh, Jason, I was like, <laughs> I could totally get how that would be really heartbreaking. Not oh, only because dude. it's a popular person, but- it's sad for me But now. Donald- and Jay, like Jason, you know, idolized Donald in a way because of the life, his lifestyle, the way he fought and everything. Like that was a, a big idol of his. But I told Jason, I was like, this is really important. And I'm glad it worked out this way because Donald Cerrone is representative of, I think, a lot of guys, especially in this country, that aren't homophobic, that aren't, they don't hate you or dislike you or want Not mouth. What, what is, is that he looked at you, associated you with his type of guy. You like moto, you like MMA, you're fucking tough, you got Kevin that dude. And all of a sudden, his brain broke when he found out that he's like, oh, you're one of them. And I think it's really important to for everyone to realize, like, gay or straight or bi, it doesn't have to match up with, like, the kind of the tropes that we all know. Like, I think it's really super important for Jason to come out and be as courageous as he has because there's a million fucking alpha male moto, you know, moto riding horse breaking uh mma fighting dudes who are in the closet that they're only in in public mainstream media their only view of gay is lance bass and yes andy cohen and stuff yeah. like that no obviously that's you know do your thing but for jason to come out and do it it gives them the ability to break through that weird barrier that we all had and donald so donald like a lot of macho dudes like a lot of alpha males has that barrier where he's like wait wait you're dude you're i think them? it's weird but anyone yeah. who's super aggressive about him like well, what's your deal? Yeah, there's something. Well, that's him. a personal. What's going, yeah, what's going on? Wait, why are you so upset that he's well said. bi? What's wrong mm -hmm. with you? Yeah, but like I don't, if they could, they, I don't know. Jason's into you know fucking eagles. 
I, I wouldn't even bat that'd an be, eye. That'd be bad. I would, no, I don't, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I mean, Eagles Eagle. don't really, can they really Philadelphia say they Eagles, want to? Though, hey, well, let's say he that's could. That's Eagle rape, dude. Let's man. say he could, though. I'm not that guy. Yeah, I hear you. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if I the Eagle was like, hell yeah, and I'm like. That's what I'm saying. If the Eagle was like, no, he actually knows sign language. He yeah. said, hell yeah. If I could have sign language conversations with an Eagle, I definitely would not be here right now. <laughs> what if you were. <laughs> what if you would be fucking the Eagle? But I'm talking about the storm. Yeah, a lot of money. What if you What'd you do yesterday? Naked, <laughs> just like in a river, and it, and it flew back example. on your cock. <laughs> I just my sign language. It's really And then I did this. <laughs> this is how you guys do it, right? And then hey, I did, hey, I uh, uh, like, uh, uh. No, I'm okay with it. You good? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> what if it flew, you know what I'm saying, flew, though. What if it flew on your cock? Like, no, no. With the talons? Like naked. He's carrying on. You'd carry it with his over. Yeah, no, nah, we're fucking eagles. Like, There's no way out of it. <laughs> I would fuck it. Does that satisfy yeah, I, you? I'd you, fucking eagle. But, but, but I. Stop. It, what? You keep going. I'm saying, if out of all animals, that's a nice, majestic animal to fuck. It doesn't have a dick. Do you know that? Perfect. Eagles don't? Yeah. Birds don't? Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Eagles don't. I just know that because I sang a song, Sir Eagle Cock, when I had a band. <laughs> and people I, were like, hey, man. <laughs> I did, I, somebody, somebody was like, just so you know, Sir Eagle Cock couldn't even fuck anybody. Eagles don't have cocks. And I was like, fuck it, get on the Google. It's like, son of a bitch. I'm going to no stop cocks. singing the song. Right. No, the Jason Allen Show has taught me a lot of stuff about animals' dicks. <laughs> Turtle shits that stick out. Snake has two dicks. Shark has two dicks. Oh, if, if you say the wrong thing, I'll, I get check fact all the time. We get emails nonstop. I mean, you got to know your shit, man. Well, MMA, no one's fat checking that, right? Not MMA. Just, just eagle dick stuff? Eagle dick stuff, or I'll say stuff politics about Corona, shit, yeah. politics. You'll get a million articles. Yeah, like, hey, man. It's like, yeah, hey, I, I stay out of it. Way to one. go. Your award's in the mail. Way to go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to run away from that one. Yeah, I don't have right. anything to say anymore. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. Like, yeah, what can you do? Fuck me. So you're doing the Ellis Show five days a week? Yeah. And then I started my own podcast, the Jason podcast, because fans are like, why don't you do a show anymore? And I'm like, I don't really need to. I didn't. W I don't want to. I did one for Mayhem because Mayhem was trying to get his shit together. And then it seemed like he How, what? How's he doing? He's not doing good. And that's why him and I no longer talk because I said, How, uh -huh. I will work with you if you stay... I'm willing to try and help you get out of this I if would, you're willing to do the work. I would also help him out if he's willing to do the work. Right. Well, I don't want to. I sense that he is not. And I told him from the start of me accepting him back into my life. I have a 15 year old daughter. You know, if you're not fucking straight, uh, and sober, yeah, no. you're disrespecting her and every other girl on the planet because you shouldn't even be here right now. This is your second chance that you barely deserve. So fucking earn it. And I didn't feel like he was doing that. So I wasn't going to waste my time and energy doing a show. And so I just said five shows a week and then doing a podcast. Oh, I'm only wow. doing that podcast because I have something to say for now. And if I don't have something to say, then I'm not doing you it. You don't do it? I'm not, I don't, there's no money. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because I'm having like fans on the show interviewing the fans. So they get to hear themselves and talk in their community. And then I'm just talking about things at the start of the show that what I've used to be successful. So it's not like, book smarts like you were saying it's like what are some of the things in my mindset that i've used in my life to get where i've where where i've gone to where i am now these are um uneducated power moves on how to be successful like a mindset of someone that maybe wasn't given all the the tools to be that successful yeah but it's, it's bullshit that you can't be it that's basically what the podcast it's experience is. though that's what you're giving them and you, yeah right and, and just to not, i'm not reading it i know yeah. like if you never give all the things that have happened to me where you'd be like you should just stop it looks like it's not going to work out if you keep going it works out if you really want it that is yeah you know it's a really important kind of point you know and i i, I don't have it figured out i certainly don't but what i have noticed is that when it comes to things like just the human aspect of living to divorce yourself from your left brain, the intellectual side of it, what you've learned uh, in, in an X to no standpoint, the, the actual interaction of being human, of dealing with insecurities, of dealing with fear, dealing with pain, um, that only gets developed through experience and someone else's ability to, to kind of communicate that experience mm -hmm. to you. Um, trying to get sober, trying to deal with a divorce, trying to deal with uh, an abusive uh, uh, loved one there's no book you can read you know there's no there's no course you can take to do that that has to be you have to turn it inward and, and, the and then learn from other people who have turned it inward and then they can share it with you it's like that Dude, and, I, I remember jason when you're going through it i remember you're in the thick of it at the time i did the i did your show at sirius and it was off wellshire you're in the thick of it i remember i was like dude where's your where's your porsche at 
I mean, you had the GT3. Was it G3? I had Porsche Turbo 911. That's right. It was a white one, right? No, all black. Yeah, I was like, dude, where where the fuck's your car at? You're like, I got rid of it. Like, you had to get rid of it, dude. But you didn't give a fuck. And I was like, God, that's kind of cool. Because to me at the time, I was like, what? It's gone? You're like, yeah, dude, I have to get rid of it. It doesn't matter. Well, that's because it's happened so many times in my life. Yeah. It's just like uh, things are there and then they get taken away or you have to do something to make a move. I mean, I got divorced, dude. At one point, I had nothing. I had skateboarder, pro skateboarder, had an agent and a business manager, and they didn't pay my taxes for five years. So at the end of my skateboard career, I found out that I hadn't paid taxes for seven years. So I sold In my Australia house to that here? here. Sold my house to pay the taxes, then the penalties. Man. So now I'm paying penalties as I slowly retire from being skateboarder, which means my check's shrinking as I'm paying penalties. So I can tell that my skateboard career is coming to an end, and I'm going to have nothing to show for it. Yep. And there's no more in me to get more money from skateboarding. I'm fucking busted up. I'm not going to win any contest. doesn't matter how much I practice. So then the radio show, Tony Hawk's show, I start talking. As soon as I start talking, I'm like, I'm way better at this than fucking skateboarding. And everyone in Sirius is like, who is this guy? We need to give him a job. Would you like to move to LA to go a job? Yeah, all right. Listen to the Stern Show. And like I said, with you, with this, with the football to the MMA, when I got this shot, and I knew that I had a talent on here way more than I did in skateboarding. I'm like, you were top three in the world in skateboarding, and you know that you are not naturally gifted at this. Correct. Maybe one of the least gifted out of all the people I know in my fucking 20 years of skateboarding, and you made it to top three. You probably could have won if you actually fucking yeah. stopped drinking for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, this is your second, you're going to yeah. fucking rip it. And you're then I was the same it. thing all day. Stern, what's Stern doing? What's Open Air Bubble Loves? These bitches have got nothing on me, man. I fucking, it's so tempting to tell everybody that every day. Because I was like, fuck, $100 million? Fucking listen to this, you fucking gerbil. You're nothing to me. Yeah. And, you know, obviously kept that on. The, but that was the fire. And then the show got gigantic with that. And when it got big, people were like, everyone's listening. I was like, yeah, I know. How did you know? I didn't. I was just like, this is fucking going Manifested yeah. like you this know. the yeah. whole way. And I can't see or hear any other way. And then it worked. But yep. it's the same. Divorce came. So I made money, moved to Beverly Hills, got divorced. Down to a one-bedroom apartment in Santa Monica. Gave my ex-wife all the money. And then work up, work up. Oh, guess what? Because you're paying her money, you didn't pay taxes. Bink, penalty again. I'm like, we're back again? So penalty, ex-wife, broke. Business manager telling me like, hey, I noticed you spent some money at Starbucks today. And I'm like, yeah, coffee for the Starbucks? show. Yeah, dude, things got. I went, I, I went on dates where I had 70 bucks in my pocket and didn't tell her that that was what Jesus I had in my Christ, pocket. Because my business manager was like, you don't have any more money. So I was depressed. And, and you got uh, kids. Yeah. And well, they, at least they, you know what, they got every, that's why I didn't, it wasn't that bad. I gave her all the money. They're okay. As long as the kids. They got, they got everything. Nothing changed to them. They saw me in my apartment. I stayed happy for them, but then build up again. And then, you know, here we are. Still back. Doing the I'm back. You're back. I could do, You're I haven't bought a car yet. I gave my Mercedes back, but because of all this pandemic, I'm like, why do I don't buy one? Yeah. Want a car. So now I just, I rented a, a 68 what Buick the LeSabre. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sick. I'm just driving around a giant sick. convertible to Sabre right now. Like, Did you park it outside? It's on the street, down the street. Oh, he looks yeah. like, like he looks like a, a hitman from fucking Goodfellas. Hell yeah. Like, but that's Those my new sick. thing. I'll just rent a car like once a month and cruise on the weekends. Who like rents? Porsche old or school. Lamborghini, whatever. That's sick. Someone like, with their shit together. That's how, like, like that. Honestly, so shit, that's how yeah. Jason and I got to the know each other. The kids were pumped. It's like a giant boat in the back. They were like fighting each other. Oh, your daughter looks very pumped. It's so pumped. <laughs> she's too cool to be on. They're so pumped. <laughs> you guys so don't funny. know about that. Like, no, it's hysterical. If you're 15, you take a photo. You have to put your hand. In front my of your wife face. and I fell on the floor laughing when we saw that video because yeah. it's like every the, time I pull my like, hey. phone out, my daughter goes, <laughs> "She's nope, yeah, no, get out of here." Man. My face is not going to be on your piece of shit, old man. <laughs> social media. You uncool turd. You guys met. Yeah, that's how you guys met. Where? Well, we met because I was listening to the show. I was always a fan. And uh, they were talking shit on Dr. Drew. And I, and How I, oh dear, you. You just and I call, <laughs> uh, I call, awesome. I call, it, it wasn't actually, it wasn't Jason. Mostly it was other, his former co-host. I was going to say bullshit. It was mostly his former co-host. It was fucking raw dog. That's yep. what it was. And uh, I, I was driving in my car. I'll never, I was just pulling out to my old house in Venice. How long and I, goes this? Oh, seven years ago at least like yeah. and uh 
I, I was like, fuck it. I dialed and I was like, hey, uh, I'm uh, I'm Dr. Drew's radio co-host. I work with him every day. I, th- I think I could shed some light on this situation. And uh, the they're guy, saying what he's not a real. The doctor phone, or the phone. Yeah, he's, just like no, Road Dog was saying that he's he's only in it for television, like to be famous. And I was so like, that's so up. fucked up, dude. That you can say that without even knowing. Oh, the you guy. stuck up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, different. All right. Jay, but but they were there was you know like a I'd collective already, conversation. I'd already been friends with Drew. Yeah, I love. So Drew. of course I was like, yeah, I'll I know in person. Like the guy calls me yeah. and asks me if I'm okay. He does. That's not on TV. He's great. Yeah. And uh, so I I called the show and then we had a conversation on the air. And Jason at first was not believing it was me. Like he's like, you do ra- you're a you're radio psycho guy. Mike. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no. I and he didn't know of me or anything, but he's like, you do radio in LA. And I was like, yeah, with Drew. And so finally we got past that. And then I started, I was like, he's actually like, yes. Asshole. And so at the very end of the show, uh, Jason goes, Why don't you have me on your radio show? And, okay. Uh, I'll hang get, <laughs> let me get your contact after I hang up. Yeah, so sure. got in contact and I emailed him. Came on Loveline. I hate that guy. After that, Jason goes, why don't you come on my radio show? <laughs> That's I was me. like, okay, we're going to come on Do stuff for me. I'll do stuff for you. That's All how right, it works. Now go away quickly. And that's, like, uh, fucking I hate that's how we started meeting. Uh, that's how we met. And then the second time I came on Jason's show, um, I go, I'm going to, I got a little surprise for you. I got a little surprise for you. And I know, I know, I, we haven't explicitly talked about it, but I guarantee in his brain, he's like, oh, wacky radio guy is going to come in in a bear costume or yeah. something. And I came with Drew, with Dr. Drew. And oh, then that, yeah. and then the, we just kind of opened up from there. And then, yeah, you but, can't but, hang around Dr. Drew and not love him. That's how we got to know, know each other, though, because that, that era that he's talking about when things were getting really dark. Yeah. I'll never forget. He did an interview. I believe it was Tyra Banks. And he the did Tyra this inter- Banks show? No, no, no. He had Tyra on his show. Oh, yeah. oh wow. And, and uh, after, uh, it sounded fine to me, but after the interview, Jason went on the air for like 20 minutes, was talking about how disappointed and angry he was at how shitty it went and he he's angry at himself and blah 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 she was in a good interview or what um i mean i don't really remember it but i don't think i got her. it's usually i get him to kind of like me and spark up and i just couldn't There's get her to do it there. she wasn't interested in me she thought i was lame and that, uh, that ruined it for it didn't take much back then for me to have a bad bank, day so who gives a fuck i well i fucking i, I dude, there was times there where i've had people come in with like sunglasses and go who am i talking to yeah great and, and then and i've made him go sunglasses off and go fuck man yeah who is this guy yeah. i'm like fuck did you got a skill right I here know. so when it doesn't work out and the person keeps out. the shades on i'm like maybe i don't have any ability and i suck so yeah he was getting really like self-deprecating and i and i could hear it and i'd like been at that place before and i was had to recently had to divorce myself much less contention i didn't have kids at the time so but i i was like hearing him and i and i was sympathizing like deeply with this guy I barely knew yeah you can relate and so it. i got home and i emailed him and i was like hey dude I know I don't know you that well, but like I'm in the business like you and I, I, you can't, you just got to dust yourself off and get back up again because you do a great show and everything's been, and he emailed me back and I think was surprised that I would reach out like that. I've always, since I've been friends with Mike, the sincerity and what a really kind hearted person he is oh, Mike's the has, has shined from the start. So I've always, especially when I was going through a lot of stuff, I would text him and ask if I could talk to him because I didn't have that many friends in my life, especially anybody that had gone through yeah, anything like that. Yeah. And I didn't have a therapist at the time. So I was just like, well, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm thinking about like not doing anything anymore and just leaving everything. And he would yeah. talk me off the fucking cliff more than once I would call. Cause I knew either him when things got real bad. Cause I don't want to have this conversation. So if right. I'm having this conversation, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't want to have this conversation with him about how I'm feeling like I don't want to be around anymore. Yeah, no. It's fucking embarrassing. I know. But it's got to the point where I'm going to, f- if I'm calling him or Drew. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. It's real bad. Because I'm, like, I'm like, I probably really called three times and hung up before yeah. it went through. And I was like, f- fuck it. I'm just going to do, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Yeah. I should probably fucking die. And they're like, dude, calm down. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, thank you, this person that I... I trust him. Like I trust yeah. him. He's not out for it. I'm so untrustworthy. There's no agenda. Dude. You get it. Like I, oh, at one dude. point I'm up here and everyone trusts nobody. Because they're fucking. It's like human nature to snake shit off the bigger guy. It's just your nature. It's like it's girls with big asses walk by. You go. You can't. You're like, don't look at her ass. Don't look at her ass. I'm like, what is worse, following it or tell? Like you have to argue <laughs> with yourself. 
I feel like human nature is like, oh, you're doing really good. Whoa, this, whoa, you got that car. Whoa, you know what? We should, we should, we should fucking do something together. I think you're really funny. I think your shoes are great. I think everything you do is great. We should, we should, we should hang out. And I'm like, okay. So now I've got like five or six people around me that don't like me. They like the <laughs> idea. Knows it so well. No, they like the I idea. Feel like you're just right? like conversation what? off air. Yeah. They like the it's, idea of you, right? It's a, it just and and that when you're when you're when you can be this high and be that low all in the same person, and you figure out that these people, if you died tomorrow, they'd be on the next guy. Yeah. It's fucking heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. You thought because I will fucking die for you. Like if, if you know, what I mean, I got certain friends where if you talk shit on their chick and I'm at a restaurant, I I'd be like, hey man, you know, like. Uh, that's my fucking friend's chick. 100%. You want to get fucking snapped out? Yeah. Any of any of you. You. I don't even need to yeah. fuck. Why the hell would I defend you? Look at the side. But I, I would. Defend you. Yeah. I'm just saying if it comes to that. Like my my wife. I'm fucking my wife. I'll fuck you up. Fucking my kids. I'll fuck you up. 100%. Fucking my friends because I will fucking ride or die for them. Yeah. So you need. To I expect the same. That's it. That's all I it know, is. When you don't get it, it's and like heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. I would have died for you. And you're like, nah, you're not doing that well anymore. I'm going to go over here. And I told like, you that. What? I told you that last week when you were telling me that story about the, the biker bar. Yeah. I said, it's what I told you about Jason. I was like, I let's, let's not get ourselves. Jason's crazy, but there's very few people in the world that aren't my daughter or my wife where I was like, I don't doubt for one second that Jason's motives and intentions are always pure. Correct. He'll always have my back. I can always trust Jason. Yep. Um, there's, there's, zero, there's very few people in the world. I can it say that. I, I, there's, that there's, there's very zero, few there's people. There's zero doubt in my mind. Like at any situation where I couldn't count on Jason. It's, like, it's yeah, there's like, if I go through my Rolodex, I'm like, I got six. It's nature. Six and you're, seven. you're in the game of, of the highest level. And if you're not a hundred percent dedicated to it, you're second best. And you might not even exist on this platform. Correct. So if you're not going 100, percent if you're going 100, percent how do I know if your feelings are being taken care of? Yep. How do I know if I stood on your toes when I'm too busy trying to fucking win? Yeah. It's only when you get there because that's why I excuse it sometimes. That's that's the other thing. Some people have hurt my feelings where I'm like, you didn't even know I you know, did I excuse it. Excuse it. Yeah, I agree. It's not. Yep. It's not. It's it's you're on fire right now and you're trying to go somewhere. Oh, I've been there. Yep. I've been there where someone was like, hey, Jason. I was like, fucking. I, I only see it. this yeah. one goal. I don't even see you. Yep. And now I'm like, what? Oh, fuck, dude. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. yeah. There's so many people in my life where if I get a time alone with them, I would, I've, I've, if they really, if I really care about them, I've probably apologized yep. to them. Because, but, but it, you know it. It's nature. So that's why I don't get hurt by it as much anymore. Because you're in a, I just assume you're in a time in your life where you need a hundred percent focus on this one thing that you're trying to achieve more than when you get it hopefully you'll start paying it back to everybody else because that's what i'm doing so i just assume that's what happened don't don't mishear me here because i unashamedly i'm super pro-american i love this country i love everything about it i I, I love i love capital it seems like (laughs) you're a fucking eagle again are you about to shit on america no i started with the fucking eagles i love love everything about this country and i'm i'm proud when i go overseas i'm proud to say i'm american maybe you should stay there do you think do you think do you think that because of what we're talking about, where it's like the nature of the beast, a system like a capitalist country like this, where we not only is it a capitalist country, but we, since you're a kid, you va- they value independence and the sake of being self reliant, um, in in growing and being successful in this country. Do you think that that's one of the main problems, like, and where we're getting away from, like, who we should be as humans, like living a more tribal life, where we like taking care where we're of each not other. trying to make as much money as possible and make and, and, and we're we're just living in a tribe of a hundred people and we all know we can trust why we're the all most those hundred people though, you know it's yeah no I, it's a tough one but I, mean, I think like on a personal level like maybe we are we have gotten away from like what the the animal of homo sapien yeah, really kind of should be doing to well it's a rat race you're copying everybody yeah and if everybody's splitting off and getting all the money and keeping it for themselves then you're like whoa i need to get all the money and keep it for myself the famine so mentality, now it's a yeah. race to the top everybody's racing and nobody wants to help carry anybody but, there. Uh, but I, I think the quarantine's helped with that like the, how's that because with me i'm like you know i have a seventh month old and since the quarantine hit like i've been fucking dad changing mm, his okay. diaper i'm with him 24 7 waking up with him put him to bed put my kid to bed waking up with my kid so i'm like Mr. Dad, when before the quarantine, dude, 
trying to be a good stand-up comic. I'm traveling four yeah. weekends a month. Right. I'm doing the podcast four days a week. I'm just I'm there at night putting them in bed, waking up with them, but then I'm off to work. I think the quarantine And now been with great. the quarantine, it's like you're yeah. oh, this is important. That's what's important. Dude, so I call my agent I'm like, dude, I don't get, if it comes back, I'm not doing four weekends in a row. One weekend a month. That's it. I'll do my sets around town. I'm not doing that anymore, dude. I do I'm think I'm away from my family. That's not uh, important. That's a good yet. point. That's a good point. But I do think it's been very the 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 lockdown's been fantastic for people in that regard who are either super super broke and super wealthy. Agree. So someone like you who who has the the economic Bro, comfort, you have an option. You I know. If not, you don't have an if option, you, and if you don't appreciate and if you're, you're fucked, don't get me wrong. If you were fucked before the no, lockdown, don't get me wrong. The economy needs to come back. We need to start getting back to work. I'm not saying. I'm just saying it gave me perspective yeah. on like, dude, you got to chill the fuck out. Whereas I, I know you're think, missing I cool think, shit. Pe people on the, the lower end of poverty. Shit. The mo well, dude. The most important. The most important shit. shit. I, I was, your kids like joy, and then looking at you for approval on the joy, dude. This is this moment. Those are the moments that are because we're all. You know, biggest show ever. Fucking, you know, I mean, fuck everybody watch that. You did the fucking funniest thing. You did the greatest punch or the greatest, those little buzzes that you get. On your where kid. I'm like, that's what life's about, winning. You know, look at how much money I made just now. Or look, I fucking knew I'd do that. All those things that are so much work to get them versus, you know, my kid wrestling and laughing with me. And I, I have this little, little thing and I'm like, him. okay, that. All I had to do was just stand here for that. Well, my, my son Boston, though, with, like I was playing with him the other day and we were wrestling. He did something where he was standing across uh, and he'd like stand on the table and he was seven months and crawled across. I'm like, this is fucking dope. And my girl's like, yeah, man, Tiger did the same shit and you missed it all. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. oh she goes, heartbreak. She goes, when he, when he crawled for the first time, you were in Australia on tour. I'm like, oh. Oh, mate, you over here yeah, making us laugh, mate. Yeah, but you were... At the time, I had to. I were like, building a foundation. At the time, I had fucking to. Fucking shops. Gotta do what that's you gotta do. At that time, like, is, I had that, like That's why I told her. She goes, I know, but now you don't... You know, it's space where you can focus on the kids. I'm like, I I'm not. It. I'm not telling... Say you, no more, I get it. I'm not telling either of you guys to not be that guy because I think a lot of your success has... And both of you have... Has been in your ambition and the, and the discipline to work hard and continue grinding. But I will say, like... Dr. Drew, for a, a small time after he got out of residency, worked in a mental institution, and he worked on a wing that was with Jesus. early onset dementia, okay? And all of these people, all of his patients, all of them were um, super, super high-functioning, highly successful people. They were, um, and, and it led him to believe, like, a lot of it was sleep deprivation that led to this early onset dementia. So it would be generals. Um, uh, uh, super like district attorneys, surgeons, these people who live the, uh, an NFL, a former NFL coach. I heard he wouldn't name names, but so these people who are just living high, strung, super, super achievers. When they were getting the news that uh, the end has come, not one of them ever, 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 ever bitched and moaned about how much money they make how much money they didn't make, what car they drove, their achievements. Games their, they've lost. Oh, it was all like, family. I should have spent more time with my family. Fuck. Every single one of them. I should have spent more time with my family. I, I, I regret my relationships. You know? Look, there's that, and then there's work ethic. You show your kids a work ethic, because if you don't have a work ethic in this life, I don't give a shit how many gifts you've got, you're going to turn into a useless slob. Agree, right? If you see your dad or your mother hustling, and you remember them as people that were hustlers, Correct. then that is installed in you. Line. Yeah, so that's it's like I didn't see him all the time because he was. You can't you can't go through life with no job. No, you can't. They just shit on you around here for that. Yeah. And and also, and I I'm, I'm not I don't want to make a chauvinistic statement, but I do think it is different for guys at fathers. There is such. We, we value each other for our achievements so much more, I think, than, than women do. Like, I, I mean, I really look at guys as, as, and how they function and how they function in the world as like, wow, like, that's the guy I want to, I, I rarely go like, he's such a good dad. Yeah. I mean, I should, but I rarely do that. To be fully honest, I always go, man, that guy fucking grinds. That yeah. guy, he does it. And um, it's, it's hard to strike that balance. My father, um, he's not a very open, vulnerable guy. But we had this conversation probably about 10, 15 years ago. We were at the Dodger game. And uh, I said, you know, I, Dad, I, I, never, I never really appreciated f f enough how hard you work. Because my father would travel like 200 some days a year. He, was all, he worked at this big multi-purpose business firm and uh, as a consultant. And he, would, he has huge clients all over Korea. I spent a lot of time in Korea, a lot of time in Chicago, Nashville, India, all over the place. And uh, 
he traveled like crazy and he would fly fucking home from Korea or, or, or Spain for 12, 15 hours and then immediately come to like show up for like the last three innings of like my little league games and stuff. Nice. And, and when you're seven, you're like, well, my dad's here. Great. Right, yes. But I never, I was like, I never really appreciated how, how hard you worked to make a great life. And then also how much you, you killed yourself to even try to be, be there for, for me. And he, uh, very unlike my father, because he's not like this open guy. He said, yeah, but, you know, I, I live with a lot of guilt because I miss so much of your life. And yeah, I, 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 had be, to, I don't want to be that guy. I have to weigh the consequence and dividend of it. He's like, yes, I was successful and I gave you a great life. I gave you opportunities, but I, I missed out. Priceless a, you shit. know, we didn't have a, I, my father and I didn't really have a relationship until I was like 30. That's tough. No. Well, he made a good kid because you're a good dad. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're a good husband too. Uh, you can talk to my wife about that. Well, uh, I feel like if debate. I was going to shit on anybody, I would shit on her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't mean who on No, not your wife. She is yeah. from Eastern Bloc. She might I'm, enjoy she that. Might be into that. Yeah. That's your fucking joke. You can have it. <laughs> I, I just feel like you do a lot. And I'm, wow, this is, she's going to kick my ass. No, let's hear it. I just feel like he's always fixing himself for them. To get be, to be a better and person, this, and it seems like there's nothing wrong. Um, with her. um there's a lot of truth to that. In a, in a <laughs> sense, <laughs> seems like only one of them's working on. on I'll themselves. tell you which one I'm scared of. <laughs> oh well, that's that's very true. That I mean, you have much better reason to be scared of my wife. I don't think I've me. ever met your wife. She's fucking awesome. And one terrifying. time, I gotta come in here with her. We should you should yeah, have her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my my wife's great. No, she's amazing. But there's a lot of truth to that. In that. I'm definitely. He probably has a lot more, more work to do, though. Yeah, yeah, I reckon he is more. He's trying to bail you up. out. He is trying to bail you out. But, though. but how much work for how many years <laughs> before you get a pat on the back? Because, because I <laughs> on, doing on, great work on over the, here. Oh, my wife. My wife does when no one's around. She's she's very yeah, supportive no and gradual. She she always <laughs> how about, she'll how randomly, about a public one. You know, <laughs> she'll yeah, randomly. Come on, come on, when I'm around, fucking, hey, Mark. I tell you what a great husband you are, lately, Chase. Look at that. Yeah. She'll she'll randomly, you know, tell me she's like, I really appreciate how much hard you were. Like you're, you're a great dad. Suck at that, yeah. But but <laughs> I want communication I, in my life. I gotta be. But fair. I don't want to give him. It's tough. Like my wife, the stuff that I Girls don't want, provide, and then you don't give it, but you want it. Well, the stuff that I don't provide. Show for her, me, show me, and then I will show, the show you back. Yeah. I'm talking about, Mike, you are sexy as fuck. Let me suck your dick right now. And I'm like, whoa, really right now? And you're like, babe, babe, Jason's here. I'm like, well, I don't mind. That's what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> you're a sexy motherfucker, too. Thank you, man. Cinnamon she Brad Pitt. Says that shit. Cinnamon Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. He is. That's what we call him, the Cinnamon Brad Pitt. <laughs> you're like Lou Ferrigno's really hot daughter. <laughs> 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 I'll take it. <laughs> but Sorry. I try hard as a husband and I try hard as a father and I do a lot of stuff and my wife is supportive of that. But the stuff that I, I'm lacking in, I still, I do need a lot of work. I mean, I do need to do it. That's stuff like being willing to just give affection that's not sexual. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good at it compared yeah, to other husbands. I mean, yeah. I, I don't randomly just go up and give my wife a big hug. And I tell can't help it. My chick's is, ass yeah. is so insane. Like I give her a hug. Of course I'm going to start grabbing her ass and then I'm gone. Yeah. Can't help it. I'm like, oh, thanks for dinner. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hey. And, and does she <laughs> like it though? My girl. Yeah, fuck. Yes. Uh, does she like it though? Well, yeah. But my I girl's feel like, like, like her parents be around, <laughs> I'm like grabbing her ass. She's like, Jesus Christ. Dude. Yeah, I wouldn't do that in front of her dad. I'd probably let that one go. <laughs> Good for you, though. Thanks, Champ. man. Especially, <laughs> especially Hispanic Feelous. family. I know. You, might, you wake up with a it's, shiv it's in your neck. It's impossible, dude. dude. It's impossible. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't around my kids either. Like, I feel like I'll be grabbing some ass, and I hear them coming. I'm like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. And they'll come in the kitchen. Hey, Dad. I'm like, hey. Yep. Hey, buddy. Going? Yep. I'm not doing it. But yeah, I try to, because she's very sexy. And we're Are really, you guys married? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we're super into sex, too, so. I'm assuming I'm still attractive to her, so I think that we, you know, I mean, it triggers the bone pretty quick. So, <laughs> so I, it's, I do try to make a mental note of doing one where I don't go there. Is but I'm confused. I'm like, I love you, and I think you're sexy. Yeah, I know. And it's like, you know what? Sometimes I know you think I'm sexy. You don't need to tell me that by grabbing my ass or the other parts. You know, I'm just like a. I'm just a. It's my wife, yeah. you know, we're together, and I'm like, reason. you can grab my dick whenever you want. She signed up for it, you know? Right, so every now and then I'm like, hey, a little bit of a president. <laughs> but but is, is she, in the relationship you're in, is she, 
Uh, buy two or yeah. she? Oh, oh yeah, both buy. Yeah, yeah. So that's parties, and she has great that, taste. That's better too, which is so. She's nice. She's super picky, so. But when it happens, thank God. Sometimes like she's like girls, I only like fat chicks. <laughs> <laughs> that would be tough. She's like, I'm a she, chubby chaser. But if she did like one time, it happened with two bigger girls in a limo back when we were on fire. I'll tell this story. <laughs> Please tell me, <laughs> Larry Flint. Well, we go. We did a event where the band Those played. 30s? Yeah. No, no, no. Here, make me be sick. <laughs> fours. Sometimes I'll... Wait, you got... L- fours. Fours? Give the fucking... Thirties? <laughs> you fours. You're savage. I didn't even know they made four. It's like fucking half a shoe, like a toenail, and calling it a sneaker. The four... I mean, sometimes, but two... This guy, Catherwood, four... No, every time he gives me one, I feel sick. <laughs> just so you know. Dude, the, those are so strong. I just figured this is ending soon. I can pass that in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, we'll do this, then current events, and you're out of here. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so band plays um, at the strip club and big event. Everybody's awesome, drinking. All right, good night. And I got a big Hummer limo to be a douche. This has to be what 2004, or this is um, Hummer limo 2007. Oh uh, no, I got it when it was past cool. No, this is recent. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, this wow. is like uh, oh. Oh, this is the radio show shit. Oh, was, that, yeah. was that the day you got in the fight with Simon Woodstock? Where you drove out to Long Beach? No, no, okay, okay. No, this is before that. Okay. A couple of years before that. Okay, Hummer limo. So it has five to be- years ago. Okay, that's fair. So, um, yeah, I had a wig on and I was dressed like a meth- metal guy or whatever. I had oh, like yeah. uh, wolf pant leggings on and no t shirt. Sweet battle jacket. Fuck yeah, full asshole. So I got the limo and um, you know all these girls were like, yeah, "Let me come home with you," and I'm like, ah, "I don't know, look at us, Katie." And then it comes down to these two bigger girls that are fans, and usually fans are off limits. That's the deal with Katie. Oh, and I. really? No, 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 Jersey chasers. Gets Jersey chasers. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call them? What what are, what are groupies called in the skate world? Pick ants. Uh, what a. <laughs> they call real corkers, mate. Ramp horse. Yeah, Dundee. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Ramp horse. No. Vert hose. I don't know. Vert hose. <laughs> Vert pro hoes, pro hoes. That's what they called pro hoes. Okay, so so some no bro hoes. I don't like to call them pro hoes because these are my fans, which are kind of my friends. It turns out in the end, these two people Hold on, became my friends. Yeah, sure, but at the time, you fucking asshole. Hey, but when you hey, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, no, no, just so you know, he hated you. No, it's not true. I really no, liked. Uh, when you say chubby, I need. Oh, uh, 300, 350. Oh, so hey, the definition of chubby and fat's a little. We're a little off on yeah. that. Big. I, big. Big. I just don't like saying fat. It's mean. Is it? B- well, yeah. They might like it. Or what's the correct term? Obese. Overweight. Overweight. I would like to go thick. How about thick? Yeah, I just call them big. Big, big girls. Thick, big girls. Thick, no, big, that's a thick mi- girls. Thick, thick is like Demi Lovato. Thick, se- that's sexy. not 350. Thick, sexy. Giant. Thick is, thick is sexy. What about yeah. giant? That's offensive. <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, she's a giant. <laughs> she's a <Dude>. giant woman. <laughs> What? That's so you're offensive. a giant guy. That's fucking dude. That's, that's a guy. so offensive. That's a guy. If, if you're like, dude, check out oh, this chick. <laughs> She's a giant. I'm very confused. It's like Dylan Dennis all over again. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> dude, ask your chicks if you can call them giants. Let me know how it goes for you. <clears throat> okay. Well, what about, uh, what about you know, precious big girls? I like big girls. So anyway, these big girls are uh, at the limo. Giants. And the limo shows up and they're like, let me go home with you. And I'm like, ah, there's two of them. Yeah. Uh, the keys of the piano, one black, one white. 600 pounds. Now, not so, a lot of guys can handle the 600 pound loving. Yeah, well, see, that was back when Katie and I were like a Batman and Robin sex machine. Like, if we, whoever we got a hold of, she would take the area where I wasn't. Or it would just turn into this thing where as soon as I'd start banging, what a maybe team. her face would be in <laughs> my ass. Back. What a and team. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. What a team. Yeah, so it was fun. And we would always the Chris Paul Blake challenge each other. Like, who's going to do, like, if I could sneak around the back here and yeah. get oh, this. Wow. I knew in her head, she'd be like, oh, is he really? I'm like, that's right, I am. I'm there first. <laughs> so, so it's we, like a treasure. So man. we leave. And then I tell her, these big girls are like super into me. And she's like, really? I'm like, oh, come in. Come on, it's an event. And she's like, all right. Fucking. And does she like big girls or no. giants, as you call them? No. <laughs> Gi- big girls. Big. That's right. Okay. Bigger. And uh, so she goes, well, go back and pick them up. I'm like, okay. So I go, hey, we're going to come back and you get pulled you. pulled up in the Hummer. Like, let's yeah, go. Pulled up girls. in the Hummer and got them in there. And then, so it's on in the back of the Hummer. Oh, in the Media. Hummer? Oh, yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Getting all the things off everywhere. Things are flying out. Oh, like, bet. whoa, just giant things everywhere. Flags. And then at one point, <laughs> flags. Nobody submitted in the fucking limo. 
So it's a it's a bone zone. Everyone's underneath everybody, and then it goes. It's still gone. Then it goes back to the house on the couch. They needed a on, snack, and I'm one of them on the couch, and the couch from the pumping starts to separate. Oh, oh, because the sectional couch. Yeah, and her bigness is like moving things it's, apart. It's, yeah, it's, and I'm. You know what I mean? She's on top of me and I'm on the big one and there's another one underneath the side, like near the back of me. But, yeah, but I'm just trying to figure it out, like, like logistically, because like they're so big. Like, I'm like pumping here. And then where's the other big one? This is the gap. Where's the giant? Here. The giant's to the right? Yeah. No, under me. They're oh. both under, under here. <laughs> their faces oh, under you here. stack? You, yeah, you double stuffed them. Oreo style. Yeah. And then this bit leaves. It leaves and she just goes, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I go with her because I'm in her. So we both go boom, you know, boom. And she goes, because she's a fan. She goes, oh, red dragons. <laughs> 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 and my wife is out. Out. What you, she hated that. She can't. That was a turnoff. Yeah. You fanned out. You oh, said like damn. the cheesiest thing anyone could ever. She was she's like, out. Oh, I am not licking that anymore. Yeah. She was out. Yeah, so that was the end what of that one. What a fun one. story. What well, was the end of that for? But no, her. but no more. No, so no more. Fans are off li limit for you. Yes. Yeah. We're also brought to you by Onnit. Onnit. dot com slash fighter. The best supplements on planet Earth. What do you need, man? Protein, krill oil, MCT, earth grown nutrients. We got you covered. MCT oil, the best you've ever had. Their almonds, my favorite. My face is on the cover. Whatever. Whey protein, plant based protein, protein bars, protein bites. Home, they, listen, coffee, the fuck yeah, Black Rifle and Onyx collab, yeah, caffeine, caffeine crystals. Say what? Onyx.com slash fighter, 10%, 10 off the entire damn site. You need uh, fitness. What do you need? You need at home fitness, Onyx 6, on demand streaming fitness. We got kettlebells, club maces, steel maces, sandbags, battle ropes. We got it all. Go to onnit.com slash fighter, onnit.com slash fighter for 10% off. Pretty easy. Yeah. No, everything, so everything else is. And what about, do, do you have any no's for her? No. Anything? Paula Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Costa. I would let her fuck Paula Costa. I get it. He's hot. Whatever. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. See, that's where he draws a line. Harvey He's like, you she's know what? just really, it's more like, I'm like, come on, do it, do it. And she's like, eh. She's like, I'm good, dude. Fucking, Relax. I'm fucking, one time got a guy that's really cool. I like him. He's a good dude. And they were hanging out, fucking for a while. And I was like, this is awesome. And she's like, he played his album for me. Fucking oh. worst shit ever. And he just got cut for playing his album after he fucked she's her. gangster. I'm like, man, the guy was just the guy, he's trying to fucking branch out and do no. new things. Like, hey, do you mind no. if I just run this Fuck by you real quick? She's all fucking Fuck see you, dude. But apparently, she tried to, he tried to play like a bunch of it and talked about each song. And oh, like, yeah. Fuck I'm that guy. I'm out. Yeah, listen, you may, because it's a musician- it, it kind of makes it you're like, yeah, you want to hear my music. But imagine, just imagine for any moment, if it was any other line of work, if like a football player's fucking a chicken, he's like, you you want to watch some game tape? Mind if I put on the Bra highlights? Brandon's like, he laying it down. He's like, uh, you want to see me knock out Crow Cop dude, real quick? He Jason's might like, oh, I would fucking show? totally blow you if you showed me a video of you knocking out Crow Cop. That's hey, you mind if I play the best of the week on uh, Below the Belt? <laughs> like, just, what the yes, fuck? That's insane. Man, if, if a giant lady showed me a video of her kicking Crow Cop in the face, <laughs> I would fucking fuck well, that's her. That's different. That's uh, different. The other, <laughs> other direction, of course. <laughs> Uh, give us current events because I know these guys got to get out of here. All right, yours first. Prince Pizza, New York. Fuck yeah. Coming to I don't know uh, if it's enough to keep me here in LA, <laughs> but have you ever had Prince Pizza? No, I don't even it's know what that is. It's the best good. pizza in New York. Looks very it's good. My favorite pizza in New York. Now they're opening up in Los Angeles. Oh, that's why you pedal a bike all the But time. it's in West Hollywood, which is might as well reason. be New York for me. West I'm not, Hollywood? I'm not going to fucking West Hollywood. Well, right now there's no traffic. That's a, that's a good point. You could also post it. What's wrong with West Hollywood? Nothing wrong. It's just that's 40 minutes of my day. I'm you know? going there. It's fantastic. I'm telling you, it's the best pizza you can get in New York. I'm going. It's coming here. Awesome. What they else? Say, what other stuff you got for me to eat before I go home? Yeah. That looks good, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, it's square slices. That this one pepperoni like, does look like a prolapse, though. It's so nice, dude. <laughs> that thing. He problems. sent you prolapse. Look at the one in the thumb. front. Nope. He sent it once. I went, dude, we can't be friends. We keep doing this. He stopped doing <laughs> good it. Good for you. Yeah. I let him know my boundaries. Wow, you're the only person. You and Josh Wolf. Josh Wolf sent me this thing, this <laughs> oh elbow in a guy's ass. I'm like, hey, bud, don't send me this. I was my into kids it. Might I was, see it sounds it. like my grinder account. I was like, thanks, yeah. Josh. Oh, it's grinder accounts. They show that. That's next. That's the next. The next the crusade is fist. That's Whoa. what people do when they <laughs> fisting. Yeah, it's a big thing. People do it a lot. I feel like it's dangerous. 
I don't know. And there's certain things where I'm, I, you know, I don't want to hate on it. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to make fun of you for it. It's again, don't give a fuck. Seems pretty challenging to me. If that's what you want to do. Looks painful, but if you enjoy it. That's what I said. More power. That's what I said. You need lube. Thing. Let me know. They need a lot. They yeah. use grease. Yeah, one guy had his whole hand like full of Crisco and then the Josh Wolf one. Yep. That's nice. what they do. Pizza, though, you say. Pizza. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Prince Street Pizza. What else you got, Chin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've talked about this in the past. Kevin Durant uh, was infamous for being on his fake Instagram account and replying. Real quick. <laughs> you guys don't follow sports, really, right? I know who Kevin Durant is. So yeah. Kevin Durant, notoriously known for being on social media, create burner accounts and was like talking shit to like a 15 year old kid, like, you ain't shit. You never gonna be <laughs> shit in your life. And it came out, the kid's like, holy shit, this is Kevin Durant. He Why? Would like, he would go at trolls and they found out he had burner accounts. They found out because he forgot to log out of his official account and responded, thinking that he was on his fake account. He's learned his lesson and now he's just talking shit on his official account. Learned his lesson. He keeps fucking up. He has not learned anything. I've heard a lot of people pursuing my prediction for their well being. I take it back. Lakers in one. Hilarious. It's kind of like, uh, what's that band? Hey, now you're an all star. What's that? Smash Mouth. If you hey, talk, man. you know, if you talk shit on Smash Mouth, they talk shit back. Yep. Currently? And I don't know about currently, but on the show for a while, Tully figured out that if you talk shit on Smash Mouth, they go, uh, you know, so many, so many records sold, so stick that up your ass. Hilarious. So we were like, oh, yeah, we need to talk shit. And the, the lead singer of Trapped, too. <laughs> He'll spend the entire day talking yeah. shit back to you if you, if you lead. If you Can't lead. be doing well in life if you're wasting time doing Couldn't that. agree more. That's I don't think Dave Grohl spends any time yelling at critics. I don't think Metallica is going to argue their <laughs> yeah. stance. Like it's not, Maybe Lars. It's, it's not a good sign. He might. <laughs> this is the tweet that went viral. Why are you such a weirdo? You're too wealthy for this. You really went and followed my girl. That's why she blocked you, weirdo. Wait, he... My bad. I didn't press follow and I liked all her pics. My phone tripping. Look at this what? beta male. It's just Saturday night. He just went off and started replying to everybody. Wait, he if you talk shit, bored. he finds your girlfriend and talks shit to her? Well, she seems pretty hot, so I, I'm sure he was like, just followed yeah. her. And then it's a critic's girl. And he's like, dude, what the fuck, dude? They're not playing right now, right? No. Kevin he Durant. needs to play. Well, he, he plays for Brooklyn. He had surgery on his knee. Or uh, his Achilles heel, I think. Well, I got a surgery on my knee. I don't tell anybody's world. girlfriend to go fuck themselves. No. What's he doing, dude? Yeah, he you needs to get out. Two, you got three hundred million dollars in the bank. What are you or, doing? Or hey, go buy a car. Or just do live something. Yeah. Or embrace buy a black it. Black Porsche. Or embrace this. <laughs> like like Dana White. Dana White's got a half a billion dollars. He'll still to this day talk shit with a guy to with four followers. He'll sit there for fucking. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. That's you're true. no. Embrace so it. Maybe you're just that guy and write it in. Write you, it, go deep. You guys know Skip Bayless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Made up his own account to shout, shout out his own show. He's like, man, you're doing really good, <laughs> yeah. dude. I can't get enough of first take. And then it was his account. Everyone's like, uh, you posted. He went, ah, oh, shit. He wrote himself off to me so hard with that. I barely knew who he was. And then when I heard that, uh, as a person that has a show, really. No way, Jason. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, I job, you're killing it. I, make I don't a, mind you mispronounce names all the time. I'd, I love you, dude. I'd make a fake account and be like, Fuck yeah, unless you big homo. What are you going to suck a truck of dicks? <laughs> like, I'm not pumping myself up. I'm dick. bashing myself. Yeah. Like, come on. Separate I just, you, you, think You're already a hassle a fake email. I know. Email. You're already the great. Name. I know. What are you you signed a two hundred million dollar deal. Who gives a fuck? That's what dude. Dylan Dennis needs to do get another cat. You totally beat Brock Lesnar. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. So a lot of them do. I bet. What else you got? So last week you oh! uh, broke off a piece of your bike, and this, this popped up the other day. Simon Cowell accidentally broke his back while riding his electric. Bike. Broke his back. I sent he this. Mountain mountain I'm, doing it, I'm doing it on my show today. I'm Good. bashing this mountain guy. bike. They no, just said electric no bike. electric bike. Just like, but there's like, like I have an electric mm -hmm. mountain bike. No, dude. Hybrid. Electric bike at On his the house. Street. Yeah, oh. at his house. Riding around with his kids. Yep. He's learned a valuable lesson. That he's Scroll a, up. That he's What's a he say? Bitch. Who <laughs> <laughs> so, falls off an electric advice. bike? If you buy an electric trail bike, read the manual before you ride it for the first time. I've broken part of my bike. <laughs> read the right. manual. Dude, you, you go, dee. And he goes, mm, read the mat. Come on, man. Not, like, did on. you put it together with the wheel on your neck? Like what? <laughs> if, it start, if it started rolling, the reason that you crash is because you can't ride a bicycle yes. and you're very breakable. Dude, I love your story of not getting the gig with Simon Cowell. Oh, I know. I fucking <laughs> shit my bed. But I, he went to his house. 
You went, went to his house. You almost got the gig. I was gonna give be the host of the X Factor, and I find I met with him, Simon Cowell, and Simon Fuller at Simon ha Simon's house. Yeah, and uh, they were having this great time. He really Giant was very, was very nice to me. Looked like uh, chain smoking, like yeah. a Bond villain house, insane yeah. house, insane Bugattis and shit. Looked like the Iron Man's house. And uh, finally, he's like. You know, basically, I'm looking for a host who's rough around the edges, who's willing to take risks, you know, not someone who's so straightforward. And I go, no, you're not. He goes, and I was thinking everybody's going to be like, kind of, and I was, I was like, what do you mean? I was like, well, it's live television. You don't really want someone who's unpredictable and spontaneous and rough around the edges. And he's like, oh, I'm glad you got it figured out more than I do. And I was like, uh, no, I mean, I mean, oh, if you do, I'm, I'm your guy. But, you know, and then. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> you right. knew you shut yourself down with that comment? I, I knew, I knew because of the reaction. It wasn't, it wasn't like, a, oh, what do you mean? It was like everyone's silent. Like no one talks back to him. And I was like, oh, fuck. Well, he broke his back, Mike. Yes, he did. So. On a, on a Even Steve E-bike, e-bike, street bike, which is impossible to do. No, some people are goobers and some people aren't. Like, I see the, the electric scooters all over. They're all over Venice. And every one out of every 10 people, they get them and they put their credit card in, they get it and they get on. They scooters are different. And they scooters fall are over. different. E bike, you literally have to pedal to get the thing going. Dude. And then there's different levels. It's like riding a bicycle. What are you, you doing? Say. What are you doing? He broke his back broke riding his a bicycle back. At his, at, in his backyard. Jesus Christ. He's not Sorry. Travis Pastrana either. He wasn't like going, going back. I know, but a, as pick. a guy who's a good friend of Travis Pastrana, this guy is a major bitch. Mm. And I am allowed to say that. <laughs> I have full fucking whole pass to be like you flimsy piece of shit you're like a fucking talking butterfly trash persona crazy killing it tony hawk what's it what's tony hawk just what just skating skating on money like like scrooge mcduck yeah. I, it, like scrooge yeah, well, i mean he got i mean he's the of, michael jordan he's got though. a lot of divorces under his belt so you gotta look at that'll that. hurt you it's three at three in the when he, the height of his career yep Oh, well, one, he's, he's the, the Michael Jordan of skateboarding. Easily, like, everybody knows Tony Hawk. Easily, best thing I heard the other day. Have when you ever heard, heard a bad knee. thing about Tony Hawk? Uh yeah, and it wasn't true. Well, I'm saying like maybe around your crew, but like anytime, I, like in public, if you're like Tony Hawk, I was like, I love that dude because he's a great person. Yeah, I don't like know him. Mike Catherwood invented the 900. Same oh, thing. Wow. <laughs> he's a really good guy. Genuinely good guy. I went to the ramp the other day with him skating, making jokes about how was, I'm like, man, I feel like after about an hour, my legs can't hold. He's like, that's what I do every day now. We got about an hour, and then that's it. Damn. I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. Fucking demos, two demos a day. Pfft. Does he do in what business? What, what's he doing business? Like, is he? What's it like? Yeah, well, they're bringing back the, the video stuff. game, right? He's completely solid. Oh right? no, I'm just saying. Does like every day? Does he? Does he do a show or anything? I knew he used to have shows. Fucking right. Yeah, he did the sh the show on on my channel for a while, and then I remember that they weren't making it that easy for him anymore, and and <clears throat> he's he like, come like, out. He's like, you know, I'm, totally I'm not hot. driving to LA to do a show because yeah. you won't let me do it down here. Like, yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm out, dude. Yeah. So he just skates. His he video game helps skateboarders. I think it's coming back. That's what he I helps think. Helps skateboarders. What dude. a gem. All, like all little kids that are up and coming. What a fucking gem. Like, watch, that's the other thing I noticed. At the ramp, there's like little people there. There's the new generation, and he's friends with like this little girl's like 14. They brought a dad came and brought some other kids. So he's like, oh my God, I'm at the Tony ramp. It's a private session. Tony comes over on the deck, like I'm just showing my wife. I'm like, watch this dude. He comes over, he's like, what kind of wheels you got there, man? He, looking good out there. Like, wow. He starts giving the good encouragement, notices he's working on a trick, gives him some pointers on the deck. Shit don't shit well, people a, don't realize. Yeah, what a beast. Where like this guy is what a good dude. This kid's like That's like Michael Jordan be like, dude, when you shoot, you need to put your elbow. He does it all you're day listen. to everybody. Anybody oh, wow. that wants it. Sounds like Arnold. All day. Wow. And he goes yeah. to old skate parks everywhere. He's with these kids all day. Does Super the younger dad. generation know who he is? Maybe Fuck from the it. video game? Yeah. No, be, no, because he's he's the dog. He's the, he's the, face. the godfather. Birdhouse, all the people under him. His son's pro. His son's good as shit. Is Riley he really? is fucking gnarly. Oh, wow. How old and is he? 25. He's a DJ too, right? Like a I, I've been on tour DJ with man. Riley Hawk, and then all of a sudden I hang out with Riley Hawk, and he's got a fucking Ozzy Osbourne tattoo. And I'm like, what the fuck are you, long ass hair? What's up, Ellis? Oh, I'm wow. like, what? We got a beard and shit. 27. Yeah. <laughs> there has to be a lot of pressure when your dad's fucking. It's not. Tony it's Hunt. not. It's like he doesn't. He's never been this guy. It's like, you gotta fucking make it. He's just. He just he makes him it. do his thing. He's never been aggressive. It's a, and t Tony lives in LA? San Diego. Fucking right, he does. Yeah. La Jolla? Carl's bad, right? Carl's bad. Give us the address. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 what else you got? 
So former WWE superstar Marty Jannetty went on Facebook and uh, he basically confessed to murdering someone at 13. What? And he also confessed that it wasn't his first murder. CTS. There fun. was another issue a couple years ago where he wrote that he wanted to sleep with the daughter that he raised because she's not his biological daughter. And a lot of people are just saying oh, he's a very sick man. It's CTE. He tried to sue the WWE to take care of his medical bills at some point, but that didn't happen. This mm. was the very first time I made a man disappear. They never found him. They should have looked in the Chattahoochee Chata River, but Winnie, the girl in these pics, I liked you so damn much. Spelling not great, whatever. Probably my favorite, but I promised myself way back then no way would ever hurt me again. That includes you. I loved you, but you hurt me with your fucking Jamaican jealousy. You can go your own way. I don't need you. The girl's probably like, what the fuck? Hmm. Oh, no. How much of your head gets hit when you're wrestling? Uh, he might just be a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or. Because also he was able to write this. Like, CT's just like, you forget stuff and whatever. He wrote this all out. Hey, it could and be remembered old school shit. Mental illness unrelated to CTE too. Like he Chris Benoit, be, they're like, oh, steroids. No bad guy. Yeah. Just geez. a terrible fucking human being. That, and crazy. That exists. Yeah. Is he really old? Mm, I, I don't know. Yes. He, I don't know exactly how old he is. Marty Jannetty? He's up there, definitely. Past Maybe he's age. just trying to so I, I, get it I, out before he dies? Maybe. Oh, 60. he's 60. He's only 60, dude. It's yeah, but he's a wrestler. Yeah. And he's 60. That's 140 in wrestling. I was going to say, it's like any day it's like now. A, it's like a dog year. Yeah, Damn, man. Jesus Christ, man. Well, fuck him. Yeah, fuck that. Bad, just a bad guy, you know? It's not CT. That's a bad guy. Mm -hmm. And there is a video of a Australian tourist <gasps> in a museum in Italy. He tried to take a photo with a statue, but instead so. of standing next to it, he decided to sit on it, and he broke off its toe. Yeah. Fuck There's yeah. video. He, sits he, yeah. pay, he's, he has he's, to pay for it? Uh, right now, they are trying to figure out whether they are going to press charges or not. Because initially, they wanted like, to. He's like, oh, shit. I have uh, broken off the toe. He's, yeah, he's Australian. Oh. Is he? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I fucking broke the toes off. Ah, of fuck. Look at this cunt, bro. Fuck, nobody will notice. And Brush it off. 200 years old. They're like, dude, you owe us $10 million. They're yeah. trying to restore it right now, but he wrote a letter to the people who oh, run the museum. Oh, glue it on your soft cunts. <laughs> <I can't apologize. laughs> this cunt doesn't eat toes anyway. Have you, you ever seen it. that chick? I think it's a chick. She's in some fancy museum. Oh, and it just and goes domino back effect? Up, back up, get a selfie, and hits it, and it goes... And it was like from 500 years ago, Asian art, and all the statues going... Goosh, 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 and she's like this <gasps> dude do you know you know the guy who owns the wind casino steve win is that his he's name? blind yeah he's blind he also and, sexually and a harasses. billionaire um this was 15 wow. years ago a but we were on the way we through. were at the win doing he did it to my friend a radio show <gasps> inside the win we didn't see this happen but we were in the win when this happened he is a billionaire and bought another priceless piece of art and he's blind and fucking put his hand through it like completely ruined it because he's it, he's blind and uh, we were inside the window. Touch the fucking painting. It was probably I, 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 Mona I, don't, Lisa I don't know if he. If where he, is it? I don't oh, know. If he yeah, it's all the Mona Lisa's it. here. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. <laughs> it could be exaggerated. Hey, you fuck! It could be exaggerated that he broke through, but he he he, he, fucked he flawed up. the painting because well, he, he didn't know too. it was there. But he's he, also a billionaire, so he's like, get another. Yeah, Couldn't someone just say, nah, you hit the other painting. Oh, don't worry, dude. No, you hit the cheap one. We'll bring the other one in. You That's barely what they always say this about one. Stevie, Stevie. No, you're not even touching it, dude. Stevie Wonder's clothes. Because Stevie Wonder, get. Stevie Wonder dresses so whack. They always say that. They're like, "Yeah, hey, you look great, man. You're." <laughs> he can see. <laughs> He's amazing. No, he can fucking see. He can see the fuck. He can see the whole time. It's a conspiracy theory. Fuck Shut off. The he can fuck fucking up. see the whole time. He's all... Dude, there's video of you're him fucking full of shit. <laughs> he can see. He fucking admitted it. Fuck you! He He's like, I actually admit. have 2020 vision. No, no, he see, he said he could see a little bit, which means he could see way better before when Correct. he was like, out of all the people in the world, he was looking at your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> he was looking at you. That's why I get the sunglasses on so you can see that one fucking good eye all... darting around looking for titties. <laughs> <laughs> I can see all the titties out my good eye. He knows what's going on. Wow. You didn't know that? I did not know. No, I didn't Stevie know Wonder, crazy pervert. Everybody knows. Wow. Everybody, crazy pervert that can see. Did you ever hear about Steve Wynn? What he would do? He had two German shepherds and he would go up to the office and have people like pinned hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> His German shepherds would be like. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Yeah. He'd, he'd I mean, be like terrible, seeing but... eye dogs, but they were so vicious. People were like, oh, fuck Steve here. And they'd, they'd hide. 
And he's like, his dogs would attack staff and, p- and pin him in corners and shit. Yeah, that's why he got in so much trouble. And he's like, I'm blind. I can't see what the dogs were doing. <laughs> Man, I want to like, hate on the guy, but it's like you can't see. And you're, how the fuck did you see how to get all that money? No, I mean, dude, trouble. That's something like Putin would do. And like, he it's hates crazy. Trump. Oh, yeah. Hates, hates Trump. They used to be buddies, but hates him. Hates him. <laughs> was he born blind? I don't know. I don't know. Like, did it just happen recently, or is he I always him either? When he's 29 years old, diagnosed with, yeah, there you go. Incurable. incurable Retina pigmentosa. Yeah. I think he'd be allowed to, there'd be like some science to get him some cyborg. You have a billion dollars. Do right. you become cyborg? Is that what you just said? Yeah, like yeah. put some shit in your brain and let's go. Yeah, there you go. What else you got? How many got more you want? One more. That, one that more? I know you guys got to do a show at two, right? He does. You got to do a show at two? I got to go Give me one more and we'll get him out of here. Uh, just a fun quick one then. Not this one. This is for next time. That one's creepy. <laughs> it is creepy. This one, a frog gets a beetle, and the beetle escapes by going through its butt after it's digested. Fuck. Right? Yeah. Yes. No, I talked about that on my show. Did you? And then I was like, oh, man, does that mean they're going to figure out how I can be eaten by a shark and shit out and be alive? That'd be Because cool. I was like, David Blaine needs to do that stunt. I need to see David Blaine be eaten by a shark and, and then go shit out the great white yeah. ass. Yeah. That'd be sick. All right? Then I would believe so him. So he eats that little thing. Yep. Kind of a cute frog. Yeah, so cute frog. what's this, four hours yeah. or so? It's you four hours? Yeah. So it's got to go through his whole entire oh! system. And then look at it. It's alive. No worries. Wow. <laughs> no worries. He's like oh Andy God. Dufresne in Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. That really guy cool. does not care. He's like, nope. yeah, well, what did he Dufresne? Oh, he had shit in his eyes. Crawled through some shit. Oh, he sh- crawled through some shit. And made it on the other side. I mean, he had like a knife in his butt or something, didn't he? Mm, I don't think so. He didn't put things Andy in his Dufresne? butt? Nope, never did. That was red. My bad. That's yep. right. Wow. Shout out to that little bug. <laughs> if only we could <laughs> be that bug. I know. You know? Dude, shows you. There's nothing keep better on, than on. being digested alive and then coming out of butt. <laughs> it would just well, be cool to be eaten alive and go, nah. Not today. It's not over, son. Not today. You're going to be very surprised. If only the <laughs> beetle knew jujitsu and he could come out the ass and then jump on the back and submit the frog. Sick. That would Or if it was like a scorpion or something and, and on the way out, it just it's like, later, killed him. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for playing. Yeah. You're fucked. Wow. Shout out to that little beetle. <laughs> Well, dude, we know you got another show to get to. I missed you, man. Oh, thanks for having me we on, love dude. You, dude. Yeah, I thank know you're you, busy, man. but if you thanks ever want to, I know you're busy. Do the TV screen. Zoom I'm in. Thing. I got a new. I got a new phone, so I got to give you that. Yeah. Yep. Whatever. We love you, man. Thank love you for having me for the fiftieth time. I love thank it. Thank you for the hundredth. I'm always so uh, flattered. We love both of you guys. Thanks, man. Oh, Chin, Cat. <laughs> thanks you too. Love you yeah. guys. Thanks. That's it. I'm in Salt Lake City this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The only sh- tickets left are late Thursday and late Saturday. All right? T5K.com. Uh, that's it, man. This is Fire and Kid. We're out.